Yep. But they've now got under their belt. Take a look at Paper X's economy. Two players not going to be able, three players not going to be able to buy. In fact, coming into this one, Benkai having to play a Spectre, the others. And as we said, you don't really get to breach the gap with oh, ultis. Okay. <laughs> That's one way to do it. We've seen that two days in a row. You know, when you look at this situation for Paper X as well, the tragedy is they've got every ult online except for Forsaken's, which is the one they really want to get this round. Channels? Yeah, I, I oh, wouldn't mind. Uh, He's yeah. got Marshall. I, I would like to see no, him no, no. try and take either Ladies the battle on first. a -Long or mm -hmm. go for the one on C-Long, because it's something that's been faced quite regularly, and then challenge for the orb. Because if he can get one Stop. kill, get the orb, that's oh. his blade storm for the round, then he can change it. Because we've seen, literally one of the clips that was shown in the early video was him acing around with the knives. He's fantastic with them. The thing is, though, I don't think that's something that's going to oh. be given up easily. They're almost trying to bait the shot out of RB so somebody can try and swing onto it. It oh. does not work. As said, he may miss a couple, but then he makes up for it. Yeah, I love that he keeps his dash in his back pocket just so he can go for these super quick peeks around the corner in what fire and out what? in one what? swift movement. This is going to be tough for RB. B, but luckily he's got those up drafts and it's so hard to connect the shots he's gonna be oh, tagged shit. up down to 13 health but sitting there with an oh. operator he just <laughs> needs to connect one bullet and his teammates here to back him up blade storm now online no uh -oh. updraft to play with he's being closed exactly in on his low hp but he's going uh -oh. out wide jing luckily takes him down but mako's already made it onto the site he's backing uh -huh. up the rest of his squad with a 3k this guy just does not miss and tom that is going to be eight rounds in the first him. half for drx I genuinely huh? think that, that Marco's Return, not even looking dislike. for the tournament win. He's looking uh -huh. straight for the MVP. Man is 19 first and 8 in the first half. Just... Incredible performance. Yeah. And honestly, I want to know if the desk has anyone Do they I think can actually there? beat no, this man at this point. Just, yeah. Sure. We'll be asking that question in a second. Um, Doug, I just can't help but notice. Just has just looked so what is your unhappy again? Yeah, that entire half. The vibes aren't great. Not there. great. Mm -hmm. Everyone looks it? normal. I'm gonna give you an And she always has something. The that I'm feeling right now. Okay. It's like you get home. There are two girls that always have work, something. Whatever it is. Yeah. I like oh to sell this cookies. In the I told you. you bite it. Mm -hmm. You got these beautiful chocolate chip cookies, but they're raisins. Mm. Oh. This one they're has raisins, too much energy for chip. me. You have been debated. And that's exactly what Paper X has done to me this first half. A hundred percent win rate since January the first. They have some of the highest that's attacking so rates in the entire oh. region on Haven. They're undefeated, and they come out and they do My that. Projects. They put that on display for us. I'm yeah. disappointed because I know what they're capable of. Yeah, you know we highlight Forsaken. We talked about him at the beginning of the of the show. Yeah, well, I just for want good to reason, say, how did they lose Forsaken the first half? It has made quite a name for himself, but you're seeing some of these After, even, like, like, minor said, like, mistakes, Paper like dashing the on this scene. Yeah. Or, excuse me, dashing on A, I'm and from while you're dashing, not checking that region. I don't yeah. even like, know what Little things like that, that, doesn't check it. There's yeah. nothing, there's no layer to make sure he's getting into want the, to check uh, this into so the you site can focus easily, on and she just gets popped. It does little things it's that have right. been really disappointing okay, for me. Want to, you can check, yeah. I have a big note here. It's in, like, capital letters on my card here, and it's, you know, Mako's just been absolutely dominating them. Yeah. But whilst we can highlight Mako and RB for just going nuclear, and we can do that, if you are throwing players in one at a time and giving them freebies, it's going to be easy oh. for mechanically apt players like Mako, like RB, to be able to capitalize on that. I see John go see long four rounds in a row by himself, no tradeability, no refrag ability whatsoever. Region, and Mako's like dead, Asia dead, dead, dead. Of course, ah, okay. because no one's able to trade on Paper X for some reason on this half. This is unusual. I don't oh, understand I to, to why we're getting this. But for DRX, this is going to be a walk in the park for them because both of these teams uh -huh. are attacking. There's side something and missing. Their yeah. attack. <sighs> Alas, poor PRX. <laughs> Not playing their best. This is surely a test. Let's see how the rest mm. of the mm -hmm. half plays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You almost, out. you almost. Oh my it. gosh, I was really on a roll there. Was that off the top? That was, I actually kind of took notes, but I was like on a roll. That was still sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah but then I ran cool. out. Rest test, tell me. Man, the chat rest hates test. this one caster. <laughs> Because of that stuff no. that she says. No, okay, my bad. No, he needs to play a mini no. over. Okay, but no. everyone says, like, right, cringe, sorry, cringe I'm stuff. I'm giving you rhyming words. Less. Less. Doug is just less Mako shaking continue his, he's what he's doing. Huh? Yeah. Mako's gonna be blessed. Oh, 
Yeah, Ooh. people slowly Doug is sleep. so over <laughs> us. Yeah. Doug is so over You wanted to lead users but, um, I believe that, that were inactive uh, for over Tom 90 saying, days. Like, can anyone Numbers of users to the lead 4,810. I, mean, right yeah, I, I don't, I don't know how anyone does, right? Like, he, as a controller, maybe I'm looking yeah. at the stats, mm, and then I remember he plays Omen. Like, he's on wait, Omen wait, wait. right now, and he's just having his Do way. Do you want to delete users that were inactive for over 90 days? Sorry, all my rhymes Number of users to there. delete. I was trying to give them 4, a cue. You know what? I ain't creative. To which users from where? Going. I'm done. <laughs> Stream out us. I guess it's still not the worst nickname um, we've had. Yeah, we can't say that one. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> not on air. Not on air. <laughs> no, well, let's, uh, well, let's call it out again. Yeah. What's your name? Mitch. Tom. But then Biz, there's a B. Tom and Mitch. Then, so there's there's some there's something you can connect there which we we're, we're probably not allowed to say. But All yeah, right, I can well, just we've do got ourselves a here, okay. slight connection issue, so we're just going to be sort of talking a little bit about what we've seen so far in oh, this one. I, actually, we're getting right back into the oh, game. Oh, never talk. mind. Ne yeah, never get mind off all me. that get stuff. Off this. This guy's oh, I have 66 percent use on the extensions. So 15 sorry. seconds left on the clock. We're Worcester. counting down. Of course, we fix huh? our errors very quick. We're not Worcester. Eight to four, round thirteen. We're getting right on into things. And uh, oh, we got okay. a lot of ghosts in play for Paper Rex. They're gonna be coming you're in on the defensive side, but I think they've got playing? a bit of aggression plan. Probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, going I'm the gonna prepare. The back. I like it. Trying to predict where some of the players are. It hasn't worked, and uh, you can just see them running straight down in towards A. There is currently nobody there. There is some utility to try and stop them, but well, I'm telling you now, it's probably not gonna do the trick. Straight into the site. We already spot them first, oh. but he has a little trip set up just to kill a Barbie in the corner. Wonderful stuff. This could be a little bit tricky now. This paranoia in play for Mako comes in at the perfect time, but it actually uh, catches Zest. Oh no. oh, no. He's gone down to it. Paper Rex. Look. The kills are mine. In a, in a you pretty good spot fall. now. Mako, though, has been huge in the omens and pistol rounds. They always show up, but this time, Jing deals with him right away. Things falling apart here for the attacking side. They need a hero to step it up, and Buzz does a good job with two. Here comes the frenzy, getting the tag, stopping the heal. But there's okay. more than enough players for Paper X to make it work. I'm interested They'll because I never and saw. That is definitely a lifeline. One they're uh, more than happy to walk away with getting five on the board. PRX playing. Yeah, I, I like that. I like, oh, it's I like PRX that and time. DRX. <laughs> it, it, it's something that it, it will likely not work again. But if it wins you a I know that it's Paper X like and it can get you right back what is DRX? What does that stand for? The DRX so the like a slight error. It's always going to be a problem. Like that paranoia does actually catch the, the majority of the players on the other side, but unfortunately, Forsaken quick enough to react, and from then it's almost just a death ball coming in from Paper X, just like trading out effectively and taking home the pistol. Yeah, we'll give a lot of credit to Mako yeah, though, in, in that one. I think that's the first time I've seen him even slightly miss a piece of utility. <laughs> it's a big flash. It is know? a pretty big flash, I'll say that. Yeah, eight to five. Jumping on into round number two, and there was a world that I could have seen where DRX come in and force fight, play confident and just yeah. try to roll them, but they have played this respectfully. They're I taking they, classics. They did that versus frenzy. Zeta, right? I believe they did, and it makes sense. You know, this is a confident team that even though they don't give away Dragon advantages, makes. they are willing to take a few risks, but not this They were winning 11-1. Mm? That's the big difference. Dragon <laughs> <X>. <laughs> oh, it makes a pretty big difference, because you can see lighting it slip here, then Paper X hit seven, and things start to get a bit scary. Let's see if the pistols can do any damage. Even up against the shields, it's just gonna be so hard Ooh. to take them down. Evidently not for Zest, he's got one. Uh. That's where things will end. A plant as well as a yeah. kill, it's not the end of the world for a full eco, but nothing to write home about. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking Benkai's Cypher setup. They're just annoying, and that, that's all you can really hope for if you're a Cypher, just make it so that you can slow down your opponents, especially in a round like that, survive long enough that the rotations can come through. And now they're going to go into this one as a bonus round. Now, I'll, I'll be interested to see what he actually mm -hmm. buys up. If it's just going to be maybe, maybe a yeah. pistol mm -hmm. from another teammate. You need to pick a team. Try and save back into things. But this is where we basically expect things oh, to change wait, what, what? with DRX. They're coming in with the rifle. Stax also already mm -hmm. has a rolling I guess guess paper paper right. enough already. He's been farming up those mm -hmm. orbs. So, yeah, chances are... This should be around for I'm gonna support DRX because of buzz. Why did you delete the video that I sent you and you sent me? But that's where Paper X will come in with some interesting ideas. And right away, a lot of aggression on A. Four players Wait, were stacked I up. Already. They tried to take <laughs> early. No one's there. Uh, it delete it. I'm gonna send you another one. Oh, actually, he's got a teammate coming. Send me another one and I think about this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that extra control, got themselves the paranoia, also rotating in a third I'm player as well, right now, so basically pushing into this little trap that's currently set up 
for Paper X. And because they've used the further back player almost to try and bait things in, and he just shot his own teammate. <laughs> I think a little bit of confusion coming out there. Aww. while DRX eventually just trade out quite effectively. <laughs> Not, uh, not the cleanest of rounds. Yeah, his mind freaked out on that one, you could yeah, say. It definitely did. Well, the Rex are happy oh, to pick God. this one up. So pretty cleanly at that. Sense? Just one player lost, and it's RB on the way through. Those things, uh, th these things happen. These things happen. <laughs> you know, when I look at Paper X, uh, they have those weak weapons. I like the idea. The setup was disgusting. I mean, the fact that you have the... Why did he shoot at Jet, freak, though? I'm, he's I'm tucked confused. in the corner. They take initial contact with Jet. I mean... Because Forsaken is there, and he's the only one peeking and destroying the drone, you kind of start to think, oh, maybe he's just alone in this position. You clearly see they do not expect a player on short after they've spotted Mako as well. So the setup was good, yeah. and we'll leave it there. Yeah, we'll also see <laughs> what would have happened if they actually had weaponry as well. Like it's it's a very different scenario from normal. Uh -huh. Now, the unfortunate fact is, even though that was somewhat of a bonus, the buy that's about to come back up for pay breaks is still not a particularly good one. I'm hoping that, like, you're going to have Forsaken actually come into this one with a rifle, but one away from his blade storm. He gets killed, gun goes over, you basically have yourself a full buy going into this round. I don't know and if the sound is loud enough for the stream. Very, very close. The thing the, is that that um, Rolling Thunder is still available, and I, I feel like that's almost by design for the I'm going to check so, it okay, in a second. Let's not use that in a round that we can win comfortably oh, anyway. Okay. Let's use it in a round that will basically give them... I guess the pathway to win the game. Yeah, well, we've got another tech pause coming in here. Uh, Stax needs a new desk. Uh, no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a quick one. He, he needs one per half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's my where's my attacking desk, bro? What the hell? <laughs> that would be an interesting... He has stacks of them at home. Oh, God. Well, now I regret making that joke. Okay, well, <laughs> when we jump back into things, as you said, you know, paper rights are going to be coming through with a decent amount of weaponry, but yeah, th there are there are weaknesses there. It's possible to make that work on the attack, and we've seen it before. On the defense, though, those weaknesses are going to be something that DRX try to lean on hard. Yeah, well, e even just by the small amount we can see within the map, I assume, again, this is going to be a very aggressive position. Yeah. Like I said, uh, basically what I want to see is either Forsaken grab the orb, then hand the gun over to someone else, or just go for those headshots. And, and that's the thing. He is a win condition for this squad. He always has been. Like, some of the games that we saw them compete in last time, where they actually managed to battle versus some of the better teams within the tournament, like all the way back at Masters, a lot of it came down to like him having an incredible performance. And we know that he can. Right now, he's well with the board for his team. And, and as said, like if that's your, if that's one of your win conditions, that's your superstar, that's the guy that pops off, that's the guy that's in all the mm -hmm. clips. He can't be at the bottom of the board. I know it uh, almost sounds like a bit of a, a harsh right statement, especially when a lot of the time on the tag, and, and his job is to dash into the and, uh, and take okay. the space. So I think on the Hello, defense, this is, um, this is Paper X versus the DRX. and insane till now. Um, for now, Paper PRX needs to come back here. They need to win this one. You can make it a bit louder. Yeah, the problem is some cool. Oh, Same you cannot do that. Short, Jing, picking up one, now I'm gonna, gonna fade out, give put up it on 100 the back of that and now defender's hands. 20%. Yeah, unfortunately, no weapon to be reclaimed, and because of the current setup, they, they almost have to try and re-aggress and do a little bit more. Like, these duelists need to be popping. If they're going to have a chance to win the round, they might actually be able to catch them by surprise. Look how far up they've gone! They've pushed all the way in, they know he's in the corner, he's pulling out a drone! Who's expecting anybody to go back oh. through short? Still, though, the trades are good. Keeping it back into a three versus two, they don't expect re-aggression from Divine. They are just nice. this entire corner of the map, yeah, and know, it might have had some weaknesses in this purchase, but they make it work fantastically well. Yeah, really clean stuff for them I, coming into this round you know you got to go for some aggression in a yeah, round I like that you got to try to take space because otherwise if you sit back once they figure out oh hey you, seaside's actually only got a sheriff you know they're exploding on that they're taking them down and so instead they take the fight right to them and it works out gorgeously divide getting the double here the re-aggression was not expected out of rb no of course not it's exactly what paper x need though some of these plays you just no, pull the out at the last time, moment full confidence mm. swing in you can't do it every round, but it's what DRX start, how DRX started their defensive side as well. Remember, we had a bunch of rounds where these They're guys were money. going aggressive, taking these duels. Hell, huh? I don't think I saw a single Sound round right. where RB wasn't oh, either okay. pushing short or pushing a long. I, well, I might have seen a few, but that's where they all went mid and spammed a wall or something like that and tried to push down together. The aggression's been really nice to look at so far over on the defensive side, and Paper X with a good display of it now forced their opponents in, into a corner a little bit. Yeah, I, I think the only worry for me for Paper X is 
Uh, firstly, DRX have always been very good at defaulting. I, I think that catching them off guard like that was a bit of a surprise. I, I don't think Definitely. that will happen too many times. And the problem with this sort of composition is a lot of the time you like to do what was on the other side. Like you'll take some map control, you'll battle for it sometimes, you'll put aggressively like that sometimes, but then you'll have these more passive holds, like for <coughs> example, a few rounds later where RB was playing the operator from the site. The issue with the current composition for Paper X they don't have anywhere near as much to play with. Like, you, you don't have yourself Kildra Utility to try and get you back in. You don't have yourself stacks to have all of these sort of little pops of utility to sort of make the space if you need to retake. In fact, the retakes on the other side would still revolve around either a paranoia being popped and then someone running in and killing everyone. So you almost still have to have this aggression for Paper X in the majority of the round. So if it's like one and done or 50-50, DRX win the map. Yep, that's a, a really good point. I think stacks is the key element. Having so they're that already going to get it. Oh, <laughs> down. It. The players oh. are trudging. Has no choice nice but to mad. continue forward. <laughs> what the hell? At least trade out. Taking Jack, out bugs. There's a fight coming through. Mind Freak's got the oh, spike. Man. And RB is just trapped well, on the wall. Well, I guess they're just Paranoid it. up as well. A guess, gorgeous round know, from Paper X. We compliment the aggression on the defensive side. But they have just taken it to a whole other level. Uh, behind and front, and now RB, uh, he's, he's halfway the the uh, on the heaven, and, and he's locked in. Uh, he's got two players just sat up high. They're going to try and play from different headshot angles, so a transition of the peak, and he's not even going to yeah, look in the well, right direction, nice. not expecting them to be there. I like the adaptation I mean, they the sacrifice two you players just the initial two to players let their running omen up there. kill insane. them from behind. Like, that's insane. That's, yeah, that's, that's not good, a good though. Then a save now. The flank was so fast, because the rest of the players on DRX are like, ah! We got him this time, and then they get killed in the back because they yep. don't know he's coming. I mean, they called attack pause. The entire point of that was so that they could figure out how to stop them from taking the control that has been fought for on both sides of the spike. You look at that short play, they thought the Nano Swarm would be the answer, and it got there as fast as it damn well could, but they just went running through. And with the Hunter's Fury to back them up in the mid flank, it makes sense why they're playing so Forsaken. That's DRX. They came in, they're like, all right, we've got a plan. Get out of my way. And you just got ruined. Ooh, Paper careful. Rex, you need to be careful of this Blade Storm for sure. It's coming up, but Mind Freak's gonna oh. slip in through the cloud burst. Oh, yeah. oh. Only one to be found though. The trades come in quickly, and DRX are now ahead. Yeah, this is a round just stacked with ultimates for DRX. They may not have the weaponry, but they're managing to retrieve it. Jamie dissipates within seconds, and then the trade comes through. Instead, it's left all on to Buzz, trying to clutch this one out. Just a pistol in hand, and it's not quite going to be enough. 38 HP. An incredible yeah. attempt for DRX. As well for the, for like, save. Yeah, it was cool, everyone. come into this series, and... I, I don't really know who to pin you as favorites. Run. I'm glad DRX. that we're ending up DRX. DRX, they come ahead by quite a bit, I suppose, in, in a lot Did of Did he shoot at a teammate again? Paper X, yeah. I mean, immense. <laughs> Still, though, there's no secret that they're not coming I in as, like you know, the top dogs here. But oh, they're no, making wait. it look once like... Once it was Paper here. X and once it was DRX. And look at that match. Uh, the round like both history. teams are fucking Five out of high six right rounds now. so far going to Paper X. And it's been the adaptations. It's not like they're do just getting lucky or have these little corner lucky. plays that aren't being checked. They have Another got technical a consistent pause. and constantly changing game plan that's getting them the win. Yeah, I'm loving closer? it. And now they're coming up against DRX on a full yes. buy, so it's going to be uh, a little bit oh, I do. bigger challenge for sure. Yeah, I, I think a lot of this is going to more come down to how DRX actually adapt. Because right now, Paperx are doing a lot of things that are incredibly surprising. Like, if, if you're used to playing, like, incredibly well-structured, slow, Valorant, you have these defaults, you have your set plays, and then you go to do your set play, and there's someone in a smoke stood there waiting with a rifle when they know you're using? against pistols. When huh? you have them use this Empress to using? just run back in no. and escape out of there, and while he's escaping, the other player you know runs that back they through can the just timing stream to catch and you off guard. That's you what this looks like honest. right now. DRX are trying to adapt, trying to come up with nice little set plays, and then they're going, <laughs> sorry, you're not allowed in. Like, the bodyguards <laughs> come through. It just, it, you, you don't know what to do in that scenario. You don't know how to react. The worry, though, is that round was still incredibly mm -hmm. close, mm -hmm. even off just the small I pieces that everything. were there. That was two ultimates and pistols, and they almost Maybe went 38 HP. Maybe if you choose slowly, it doesn't help. from that round going in the other direction. So I'm still going to notice that. In comparison that. to what we saw from Without the six me. rounds that DRX were able to win, there <laughs> isn't a big bank <laughs> sat there where you, you can get buy some. for the next two rounds, then have ultimates to back you up. Well, the ultimates on Paper X side suck. Mola. So you don't have the same wiggle room. You have to keep winning these rounds. And oh, well, hopefully Mola. for them, they need to win them a little bit. Oi, man, shield. <laughs> the camera. Conceal the straw. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> 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 
back. What what is happening by the way? It was eight four, right? Going down again. You know, <laughs> eight four for DRX, and right now it's nine nine. Yeah, you did this mm -hmm. yesterday as well, yeah. and then we started getting alone. Oh, and, uh, a I, I caught it at the people. time, and then you decided to do it again. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was I was feeling cocky today, Tom. You, you feel cocky you. every day. Yeah, yeah that's what I've realized. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're way too overconfident. I'm gonna be right someday, someday. But yeah, at this point, I'm sure DRX will be taking a moment to really, <laughs> He's like, Please. really put some thought into this. <laughs> Get the fuck away from my feet. They're gonna put all their economy on the line. They're at nine to nine. Paper X can steal that victory back out from under their feet. And you know, this was looking incredibly good for DRX. <laughs> they come in, sure, they lose the pistol, but they even won their buy up in the mm. third round. And with the eight to four half oh, they already so had, it cool. should be clean for them. But so. Not so much. We got some info. Okay, go on, Tom. Meanwhile, it's another rollback. Unfortunately, I'm done. Uh, client minimized while the players were actually running in towards the site. So it is going to be 9 8 to DRX. They're going to come in with the pistols once again. And we're going to have to replay the previous round. So uh, having a few issues. It's Need all been sorted the... in terms of how the, how things have gone uh, in terms of the rules. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that round will be replayed. There'll be another attempt for DRX to try oh, and do wow. as much as they could with those pistols, with those ultimates, and see if they can do some damage. Because that, that's the thing that I wanted to highlight going into the round itself, is that weaponry-wise, they're going to be in a really bad spot. But that ult stack up from DRX is a terrifying force. Like, not only do you have yourself a blade storm, rolling thunder, you got the lockdown, which we actually saw them use in an afterplant position previously, but they're also one away from the two remaining ults. So a five ult round, I, I, it may what sound like, oh, using five five ults in one round? Tom, that's ridiculous. If you can win it and set your economy up and Someone's destroy the economy of Paper X, 100% worth it. Yeah, they can definitely get out of here with a huge Please amount of damage again, though the challenge is gonna be resetting into it. Do you run the same strategy again? Or do you go somewhere else? Last time we saw the brakes be pumped by Paper X, it certainly didn't have the same pace out of them coming into the replay. It's also a pretty tough position for the players. You know, it's not easy to keep being uh, bouncing back and forth like that. But like we said, this is a team oh. in DRX that have shown Something again happened with and again that they huh? are why, able why? to keep I themselves composed, not Everyone just losing, is showing but winning. And that's uh, one of the hardest mice. things. You get uh, overconfident, you start to give away advantages, and even at 11 to 1 in the game the other day, these guys, they were they were playing it like it was match point for the other team. They were trying to make a comeback happen at 11 1 advantage. Now, as we come back into this, Paper X back down to 8. They're not equalized up, but they get a second chance at this round, and I'm sure they're going to look at this in a positive light because. They lost a lot in the previous. They were they survived with one player. And as you said, it was what, 38 HP or, or 68? Yeah. It was a very low amount of health, 38. And so now coming into this one, they'll, they'll hope they can win this a little cleaner. Get out of my way. Jeez. Still a they're not changing the pace. I like this. Straight down. Why? About to come into pressure. Yeah, okay. This time if he does lose the battle like with this, the pistol. Then... That's the site completely lost. And remember, they've got this blade storm. Now for oh, the, the opposing team, it almost gonna looks like this. a retake scenario, but remember how many ults are currently still online. You should run. The plan to save, like down mind. goes the lockdown for DRX. Paranoia ready for Mako, he's hearing steps, he's contemplating firing it off and trying to take these players down. And he knows they'll be making a step forward any moment. Now Rolling Thunder coming through, that's a great connection, but Mako can't see a thing. He's taken down oh, by wow. Jing, who gets a double even stunned up. Paper X are on their way back in, and with weaker weapons, most of these players don't stand a chance. Stax goes forward for one, and RB's all alone. He's got a 1v1 for a moment, but with a classic okay. in hand, well, it's not an easy fight to win. In the end, it's not that much of a change in what we saw happen previously. Yeah, but Paper this time they the lost more weapons. Two players surviving this no, and not a technical pause. Yeah, How are we gonna redo that again? A lot more ultimates were actually <laughs> yes. burnt up in the attempt. So you know, you know, yeah, again, like it's, my uh, mouse, it's not that different happened. a result. You also <laughs> see the Rolling Thunder go out and well, it, it's just oh my God. his ability to correct, but also his leer, which is not something I ever thought I'd oh, say that his leer saved his life stunned. there. Just being able to blind him up in the corner. You're gonna have a message, man. You're gonna have a message after this one. Lear MVP. Cool. Lear MVP. Yeah, the, the Lear was the best PC utility in that Some entire game. round. I've seen many Some rounds. Like, I remember Why do you have to be so high? The Lear was just amazing mm -hmm. for all the assists on the walkout. 
God, been a while since we've seen that kind of impact come through. Right, nine to nine. As we get back into things, the full buy up for both teams, same scenario for DRX as we had previously set up. They're investing all their economy here Hello? and now, and we're fighting uh -huh. for the lead. Exactly. Someone's about to hit oh, double God, digits, and Paper Rex, they're not looking for that same early aggression that has been a staple of this Go defensive down. side so far. Instead, they're holding back. Oh, the shit. problem here is oh, Forsaken dead. with the off. Oh, oh, he's dead. scoped in, and RB takes that one easily. Great control. He's just running Whoa. it down. Hello, the play is so good, and they're <laughs> so confident that it connects. They're actually trying to. Uh, what are they doing? Pass. I mean, Reyna's headphones the seaside, uh, didn't they've work. Eliminated yeah. everybody along the way. The only man left no, is what did they do? What did that do? Like, the there side. was a smoke was inside, and he DRX, looked over the smoke. A lot of smoke. it comes down to the setup. Like, the fact that... I, I don't know if they destroyed some piece of utility there, Technical but the, I, I don't think there was anything there to actually stop that. So it was just almost a complete gamble that no one was going to try and challenge that smoke. Yeah, it's a really strange one. You know, <laughs> to be honest, I wanted to see the, the whole day. So I was so annoyed. Destroyed, you almost expect <sighs> you to fall back and not exactly. take that kind of an angle. It's so risky with the smoke that was down. And I'm then when heaven. you consider the fact that I, I believe that was Mako smoke, right? So there's clearly some intention behind that play. And I guess for Paper X, they really hope that the intention was someone coming out window and trying to get some control but drx had a much better plan to back that up 10 to 9 now luckily paper x had the bank to buy back up here but if they lose this one then things get very yeah. scary yeah. They just about because even then you, you've still got yourself a specter of course if you throw in an empress three G players light G shields G G yeah the light shields being thrown in doesn't look like there's a drone unless it was already oh no it's being used right now oi there's no drone and actually, it's going to be used on the other side as well to try and force Forsaken out, getting him out of position instantly going oh. over the fault line, but they're not actually pressuring. And this doesn't actually force a rotation. Interestingly, seeing nothing into mid and him not being pushed has moved or shifted their setup towards this seaside. DRX will think this is a lot clearer than it is. Paranoia through again to dismiss afterwards. Mind Freak in a bit of a tough spot. He's being pushed down and eliminated, but there's players here to back him up. Buzz does well to find the double, Ooh, and Paper X will keep down. on fighting, brawling for the site. The spike down, things were looking scary, but they have the TP, they pick it up, and they get onto the A site for free. That's a plant in for DRX, but oh, a man disadvantage gosh. now extended into two. Okay, well, Marco. Off to the star. Marco has had an incredible tournament, an incredible map so far, but winning in this <coughs> one Marco, versus no three scenario. Still. Spotting that there's nobody left <laughs> on the <laughs> flank to try and utilize the smoke to at least give him a little bit of an angle to try and fight onto the spike. You can see them slowly clearing things out. even put that? a trip within that smoke just to see if he's hiding there, but he's watching to see if anybody's going to attempt to run through it. Mako with an opportunity for the first duel. Manages to hit the shot. Looking for oh, a little more, but Benkai close. will be there to trade. No opportunity to clutch out that round and an incredible read. I just want to say, though, like, if they, really they would have lost With that, double uh, digits on both mm -hmm. sides, that's Paper X at least securing themselves a little bit more more runway coming into this, but we the way DRX have been going, oh, no, there's man. just no eco coming, man. They've oh. got to fight for every single round, and that's, that's what starts it. to happen when you trade rounds back and oh. forth like that. Coming into round number 21, well, just take a quick check in on no where way. the ultis are at, and the big play got for it? DRX has been a big conversational topic. Got the explosive ultimates that they have nice to play with. Nice part of where the fuck nothing. is that? But even when you see huh? pa Paper X, excuse me, with two online, I didn't look for long, long enough. Yeah. But there was, there was another stat. I, I can't <laughs> remember the exact stat, but it was something like DRX. <laughs> oh, let me push. Ah, fuck that off. They were using were winning something like 80% of rounds. Now, obviously, they've dominated the first couple of maps, so or matches that they played, so it, it might, it's a little bit... <laughs> oh, oh, it got him. Buzz. That, that shock dog got him. Buzz. Uh, hit him for like half health, just double bouncing around. No. That's going to be so oh. annoying. Forsaken does well to get out of there. I think Lock that's almost inside. a mistake on Stacks not being ready for that, <laughs> not being able to trade that quickly. Are you just he today? Spike, he backed off. Yeah, yeah. And, and also, I guess, I'm so I think the that he's that close, he can't dash just out safely. And if he does swing and there's a second player there, lose Spike. Where is I just wanted to, to say, say where was the side? probably the right call, good flash to push Forsaken off the angle, but it doesn't work. Oh my this time God. It oh, my oh, he's Roger. stuck, and now he's stuck. down. The updraft missed, and it cost him his life. Ah, because of the sound. Okay, also stunned at the back of the site for a second. He's got to try and get the ball. He's managed to drop the Spike, but he can't get anything more. There is a flank again. There's always a flank. And it always seems to be Mind Freak. A one versus two scenario. Yeah. Not a whole lot of utility to try and deal with him. The turret will give a little bit of extra space, but he's going to use the smoke again to try and isolate. They're just picking up a They both are like, oh, it spike is but there? They don't oh, have cool. to go for anything in this side of the map. They're just sprinting to try and reset this brawl onto either B or C. And he hears both sets of steps. 
fading away from him, knowing now that these guys are leaving. And as he was hot on their tail, he's not really going to be too Ten cautious on the left. way through B, but he has to be careful. Should have pushed a little Joy. faster. Kill Joe. Kill Joe. But that's such a tough off angle to clear. And uh. oh, he's gone in through garage. But with DRX going back and holding this control together, they have such a strong position, a lockdown to play with that's unlikely to go through in a 2v1. <coughs> with the round that's in it. Yeah, they could use it just to confirm if they really wanted to. But it seems like they're just going to try and play this one together halfway through. Mind Freak he's managed to get it most of the way. Could just stick this. He doesn't know where the second player is coming from, but he's bought himself the time. He's going to hear the footsteps. Now playing ring around the Rosie, the peak coming through. And he gets stuck on the box. Mind Freak manages to win a scenario, which it, it just looked impossible. And he will get himself that Red Bull clutch. No, 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 he started the round on C and he ends it there as well, using his teleport to get behind them, flanking up on A. <sighs> and what a play it was. Look at this. They had no idea the distraction from the side as everyone else is dueling. He picks up one kill, lets them have the spike, That's follows actually them a good all play the way through. Because they're probably, uh, they're not going to be completely first. And with 11 rounds on the board, they're going to first of all check. And when they really check, have you have time to this go off the, the spike, so you, push push you can just push the spike as much as you can. Or it's DRX, what they look to be doing, for spying. If they lose <laughs> this round, Tom, Paper X will have two chances to close it out, starting with a very low buy. That oh very my goal. Very ambitious. Yeah, he's That's just gone so straight aggressive. through. And they're getting Look at this. Because of it. Jing will be able to dismiss eight. our position. He's got a teammate to support. He's going to go for a kill and try and get out of there. Never mind. He's just going to go for the whole team. He might be able Jing to dismiss away yeah. from the Killjoy ult, but he can't. I mean, it's not going to be there. And he falls instead. G -G -G Buzz G -G will take him down, but it might not matter. Buzz it's now left on to Buzz and back? Buzz alone. We can Thanks. talk about the impact of Reyna. We can say, yeah, you know what? You don't really bring a lot to your team unless you're dueling. Okay, well, buzz. He did a pretty good job it's there. Single-handedly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, at least no. putting them into a winnable position. The information to play with Buzz. I mean, he knows he can plant it at this Reyna stage. It's going to be for long. They know the alarm bot still to play. Oh, the God. He planted at the well. West. The fucking players are quick, uh, they're not giving him any space whatsoever. Knowing exactly where he is, the jump overheard, the yeah. double peak coming well through. He, they didn't know uh, that they knew that he was not Valorant backside there, first of all because really, of the... Jing just, I don't know how he got away with so much. I mean, okay, you yeah, can jump over the I didn't see that was like, plays when there's a lockdown, What was that? And your, your opponent goes, oh, he'll fall back now, right? He'll fall back now. But it even seemed like they were ready for him to re-peak that and swing on the trade, but he just lands Wait. every single headshot. Just oh. wait. There's a reason that this guy was brought into the team and that they're risking playing a composition that involves a double duelist. I think a lot of people at this point know nice. it is not the greatest like oh. composition to be running. It's but still this kid forcing. is good enough that it is. A lot of people will pin DRX as the favorites. We saw the poll earlier on. 70% oh, it's a 12th round. I didn't even see yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, with, with why 70 is he of, that? Of the, uh, Valorant audience. Swinging towards DRX. Ooh. This is definitely an is upsetting start. Oh, yeah, for that a little. Side. I'm looking at the old here. Rolling Thunder, Blade Storm to work with. It's the Rolling Ooh. Thunder I expect to see come through to take we'll space. Some. Paper X are not playing passive for it. These guys are trying to duel in middle. There's three players here fighting away, but DRX, they Look take it a different free. direction. Oh, God. Through garage. Oh, God. Yeah, if he keeps though. on being long. Being pushed down here. That's There's insane. Rolling Thunder's completely avoided. In fact, the only person that connects on is Mako inside the ultimate. And oh, Oh, no. oh, oh. oh my oh. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Closes out the game! Oh. Oh. Absolutely sensational! Oh. 13 to 10 for Paper X! What a way to close it as well! Holy fuck! This kid is nuts! They get to join this team. <laughs> the extra addition that they bring it after not managing to make it through the LCQ comes in on a rain up and you go, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There's no way they beat the masters of this map, the masters of the composition. Beautiful setups that they have all the way through and Jing just goes, screw your setup. Screw what? Yourself. What's that? Very last thing I, I wrote know. down coming into that game was Rain and Jing. Uh, I wanted to check everything. in on it towards the end and say, <laughs> I expected to be sat there going, well, Tom, what do we think of the Rain? And you go, well, you know, I would have liked
liked a different agent in there. Yeah. That's my impression of you. Thanks. But uh, this time around, it's not quite as good as yours. Okay, mine, John, but, you know. John, my man, John. <laughs> Close. Um, uh, from, yeah, from I don't Jing know which he team. Comes in here today, That's uh, there is how no you doubt. play Reina. I don't want to. <laughs> you could not see a single person sit there and go. You know who yeah, I'm but mean, if right? you had to play this other agent, half the things he did here, especially in those last two rounds. That was just phenomenal. 23 to oh, 19, muscle. seven assists, closing it out. 285 hey, ACS. I mean, the only player I feel bad for Mako, man. He had a game of his life there as well. Those C holds were incredible, well, but not enough. That's the thing. It's unusual where you see a game for DRX where Marco, Buzz, and RB oh, cool. play well and they lose. So yes. That, and, and that just shows how good this Paper X team are. The worrying thing as well now, if you're a DRX fan, they're going into Bind. Bind has been a map that they're not particularly good at. It's one that they've kind of been avoiding as like almost a secondary ban, even at times uh, banning out it over other maps like Fracture, which they haven't even really played so much. So the fact that this now comes up, they're going to be potentially playing up against a Yoru, which is something that that zero trick teams are prepared for. Yeah. So realistically, this is very much up in the air. And, and sure, as I said, I feel like you have to come into this after DRX beating them in the past, DRX being that sort of one team that manages to come out of their region and actually do quite a lot of damage, at least since all the way at the last ice them with Newton. Okay, wait, I'm gonna mute for a thing because I wanna know. What do you want to oh, do? Oh, 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 oh. Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, my god. Here, a double, the oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, wow. Closes out the game! Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely sensational! Uh, 13 to 10 for Paper X! What a way to on being long. Okay, yeah, it's alright. It's paid off, at least for map number for one. Sure. I'm so excited to see what so, else they've got to you know show what? us. I think there were some haters on the desk. Like, I, I think oh. Jess wasn't really pleased with map number one, so I want to see some positivity, Jess, because that half, that half was sick. Sick? Sentinel sick? Sorry, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even understand what you said. Oh. What the fuck? It's this ad. Why is she moaning though? I don't know. Wait, but, 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 but don't moan on this thing. <laughs> nice did you say on the screen. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Make a net sick now and not with the band. That's cool. No, that's not even that cool because you can't change the height. Over. What is that? What is that picture? What the fuck? I'm confused, where is German at? Yeah, I don't know. What is that gift? I'm wearing out the same old t shirt. Cause I know I won't feel much either way. Okay. When it gets a little higher, you understand. It's weird. I don't know if you so empty. But lying with you. Uh some VCT streams have muted audio. I mean some of those songs are copyrighted I guess. But not 
all of them, but because like day one was alright, day two was alright, day three and four not, day five was alright, and day six was doing enough. I'm gonna sleep. Tell like, me when they're done with talking. Let's go. But huh? this girl, I, I, I I'm can't. This girl is my energy. I, I can't. Roll the video on that with because Jing, the 4K, Jess, I got no words. When you, bring you got a, no words. You were quiet for a second. I was because <laughs> when you bring a Rainer and when you run this kind of unorthodox composition that you run, you need to get value from it. And whether that's, you know, aggression, whether that that's some kind of, you know, play you, utility usage, end of the that's what Jing has to bring. And I didn't mean to rhyme that, but whatever it takes for him to make an impact with his team, that's what he had to do when that final round was a really good encapsulation. Yeah, it really felt like he took over the game at the end, and it wasn't just himself, right? You right. often talk about Reyna, and you go, oh, Reyna, she's going to flash for herself, she's <laughs> going to swing, she can dismiss away, all that stuff is cool. But there was so much depth to how they were playing around her Lear, mainly as they were fighting for A control, right? There were so many rounds where she was playing an short yep. uh, she would paranoia through to a long and there was a chain of utility off of that so it it goes to show that they were playing reina in a way that is unconventional mm. the pick itself is unconventional uh and they made it work they dictated the pace on defense more than they did when they were on attack they never gave mm -hmm. drx a moment to breathe yeah and jazz i know you were <laughs> talking about this constantly the defense for both teams really strong yeah yeah absolutely i want to talk about the fact and harp on the fact you know tom called me out and i want him to call me out i don't <laughs> criticize teams if i expect them to be bad because that's an already met expectation yeah. i'm not going to get on the desk and go wow well, i'm disappointed i'm eating a raisin rather than you know a chocolate chip cookie i that I was an insane comeback because i knew not the capacity lie. that prx could bring to the board and they weren't and that's like how so for all the paper they have less damage has less, less edge of the you want, but less the truth is less i knew they were capable of but they that. got the objective and they one. brought it oh they showed up they certainly showed up doug <laughs> round 16. <laughs> the reason i'm gonna bring your eyes to this is that early defensive aggression that drx just couldn't break through round 16. i was like i have to highlight it but then i wanted to highlight like the next round after it where they threw in a nano swarm so it was round 16 then conversely the very next round they knew it would come again they knew the defensive aggression would come so they layered it with the nano swarm in the next round this is it right here obviously you can see them trying to nano swarm it it didn't matter they ran through it <laughs> drx tried to counter them with the nano that they previously had hadn't had there and it wasn't enough. Paper X are not afraid to run through every piece of utility DRX puts on the ground to fight for that ground, but to fight for those power positions, that is a scary, scary thing if DRX is so used to going, if we put this here, they shouldn't run through it. They ran through it all. Yeah, they, they just like didn't care yeah. about what was being thrown their way. I think the, the biggest takeaway or perhaps what I'm most thankful for is that we are not trying to play solo queue right now because I know they're going to be riddled with Reina picks. <laughs> <laughs> there are those of you at home who want to do it, just don't. Don't. <laughs> Let Jing do it. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Doug, I also, uh, hey, round wh 21, what do you mean? My I was cracking good, up okay? because Doug was like, nope, not a chance. Not going to no do it. No shot. Not, not happening. And, and it you said no so many bad. times. It shouldn't have happened. That was right. The, the fact that they allowed him to isolate those 1v1s, you had someone yep. pushing in from spawn and from garage, you weren't swinging at the same oh time, and you God. have a numbers advantage like that. You want to make the decision very difficult for the person in the 1vx, and they didn't, right? They peaked at different times. It was, it was as soon as Killjoy peaked out from defender spawn, I went, uh, it's, uh, it's lost. Yeah. <laughs> they blew it. That was just absolutely a wild map. And, you know, we've been talking about Jing a lot. So, you know what? Why don't we check him out at the Aim Lab shoot around? By the way, I love the gamer tag, y'all. Come on. Nothing just, no, got, just turned nothing. away from me. She was oh, of like, Of course I turned. I I'm trying to scan the QR code okay. to get his crosshair. Oh, okay, Hello? okay. I, I want his sensitivity. I want his crosshair. Yeah. I want whatever he's got. I want it on my account right now. I want I his mouse. He's got what? a final mouse. <laughs> oh, he does? Yeah, that thing is Oops, sick. Jin, Jin, Doug, I bro. swear, Jing heard you when you were like, ooh, cringe, the rain oh, And then he was like, okay, okay, Doug. Probably. Yeah, I worry because there are too many people who are going to believe that this is a good pick. I still don't don't know that it is but it does it does go to show that at the end of the day you can take a, oh, yeah, a pick yeah, yeah, yeah. you can yes 
incorporate it into a game plan and yep. you can make it work. Every agent can be incorporated into some kind of set play strategy, play. whatnot. Unfortunately, you're locked into that agent throughout the entirety of the map. So that's huh? where it becomes a little bit trickier. You can't, you know, Sit. you know, have a whole uh. game plan, you know, that spans <laughs> the entirety of a game sometimes. So that's why a lot of teams won't go with those picks because they know the longevity of it is a little bit difficult to implement and then therefore adapt across the round. So I like that they brought it. It did work, but what a weird defensive kind of sided map, which we weren't expecting. These teams win 80% of their attacking rounds and around 60% of their defensive rounds on, on that particular map. So they, they flipped the script today, which is an yeah. interesting one. It's Masters, y'all. You never know what's yeah. going to happen. I do want to talk about map two a little bit, though. So that's Paper Rex's pick. Find Yoru, Doug. You ready? Yeah, that, that, that's the exciting one. I've been, a, uh, during the dark days and during the good days, I've been a long time Yoru stand. So I'm very excited for what's going to happen. And we've already seen the, the way that PRX want to play. Again, it, it's not just this like recklessness to it. I was so impressed. I know I mentioned it earlier, but I was so impressed by their utility usage as they fought to control a main. Now you've got Yoru and you have different playmaking abilities that um, he has the, uh, Yoru's kit allows him to do that for himself. There's misdirection to work with as well. I love this. How pick. many times have wait. you shot his fake? How many times? Like, oh, it's way too many. To way count. too many. Yeah, I do it every time and I tell him, why do I do that? Right? Like, I know it's a fake. No one, no one just walks out like that like Correct. a bot. But yeah. of course, I shoot it anyway. And yeah, and you. I mean, everyone has, you know, reactions because right. I can't move and flick as fast as you do. So uh, I'm always <laughs> like, oh, oh I nasty. can see that he's, you know, running towards the wall. I don't shoot him. But I will say <laughs> that it's a great little misdirection, obviously with yeah. the tallies, you know, we heard in the interview that he thinks on Bind specifically that Yoru is one of the best agents he can bring to get the job done. And, you know, if it's working, then why not? Yeah, I want to talk about DRX a little bit. Man, this is tough. You know, they just lost so close. I'm sure they're feeling defeated. How do you reset, Doug? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think guys go back to Mako, to be honest yeah. with you, right? He's been the rock for this team this entire tournament. This is the first real time where we see them face adversity. Now, mind you, there is still a lower bracket. You can work your way through if the series doesn't go your way, but yeah. my eyes go to Mako. Yeah, the leader for the team. He's He's been everything they've needed him to be on a role that you wouldn't necessarily expect him to be able to deliver from, uh, but it's worked. And I, I think when you find yourself in a situation like this where you okay. have a game plan going into Haven, yep. and it, every, every team What's has a plan, map? and every I plan is great until you get punched thing. in the mouth. <laughs> That's what just happened oh, to DRX, man, right? So yeah. you look at that and you go, okay, what's next? Need some All right, and we're ready to move into our tomorrow. prime gaming agent select. I mean, do I even know what it's just? Where is like he? Where is he? He's fourth. He's fourth seat. from the left. So obviously, I will wait for the cards to flash across the screen. And it's coming. It's okay, coming, girl. Everything's looking as Here usual. We go. Okay, we got the breach. We got the brim. It's okay, sky in. again. And there we yeah. go. Mm. Nice. Yeah, this is happening. Nice. <laughs> This, this is happening. Is happening. This is yeah. happening. He just whispered that. Doug, yeah, you have such happening. a great voice. This Thank is you. happening. This is happening, folks. Yeah. Okay, so what are we thinking here? I, 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 again, we've talked about it a little bit. I'm very excited to see okay. how Forsaken does uh, on Yoru. Remember, he had a quiet first half. All of Paper Rex had a quiet first half on Haven. So will there be a, a change of things on how they go around things? The one thing that is worth noting is they are starting off on defense. Bind is a bit unique to Haven in that, obviously, there are less sites and you don't have as yeah. much cheeky little stuff that you can do in my opinion um you say but, that but yeah well, you've got yoru you've got the play style that we've already seen uh there's a lot that can go here all right our players are set tom and mitch take it away fellas well in the last map mitch we just had jing give hope to Rainer mains everywhere <laughs> around the world. Now we have got a Yoru in play. So there are some niche gamers out there who are like, Yoru, Yoru's been in pro play now. And it's at 0%, of course, up Listen. until this point. And I am damn excited to see what he's about to do. We had seen him a little bit in EMEA on Bind, and I hated it. I hated every second <laughs> of it. It was like, it was just, oh, look, I'm in the teleporter, or am I? And that was about it. I'm expecting a lot more from Paper X. I've heard whispers of what the Yoru can do. I'm actually interested in place. Forsaken's going to be showing us. Don't exactly see Yoru at all in pro, pro play at the moment. Paper X against DRX. 
And Paper X come in with the map advantage here. No, I don't the thing think is, he's DRX will switch their comp as well. So they brought in a Sage. Now, one of the things that could be just to deny the Yoru is having that wall. Just like, yeah, you get through this one, bud. But also just having all of that Astro utility to try and slow with gravity wells and stuff. I wonder if they're directly using this composition to play up against the composition of Paper X. The gamble here from Paper X was that it would be a play through mid B, but unfortunately they've gone elsewhere. So now this retake play on A goes in a little fast. <laughs> up and above the wall. Oh, no. Sakens down. The flash coming in from Benkai now. Headshot connected. He's been chased. Uh, he's been hunted by the boom. <laughs> but eventually he'll be able to make it out. Look, he, look, he did as well. The nade, the stun, everything coming in for the <laughs> RB that was down. An execution. Ben Kai just swings the corner. And now it's going to go wrapping in. Zest has a connection wow. with shots. Jing on the other hand, well, he doesn't miss. Look at this setup from Mako. Overcomes the utility to push them down. First, you're pulling them off. Then you're both putting down that snake bite to make sure that they can't get back on the spike. Now they're in a pretty tough spot getting back in there. Standing. Good fight by Jing. Another connect. And now he's got his nade back up and online. And here it comes. Going to push Mako forward, if not yeah, take him nice. down altogether. Very nicely handled by Paper well X. And played. another fantastic round out of Jing. This guy's had three in a row now, bringing it across maps. Are you there? Yeah, he's, he's winning them rounds. And and that's the thing. That's uh, the yes. value of him coming uh. in as, as Sith. Like, to run a double duelist, really you need quiet. to have superstars. And that's what Sorry. they now have. But, but before it was the Forsa Forsaken show, now oh. Jing can basically just step up whenever they need him. I will say, though, the thing I really liked about this retake was just the pacing of it. Like, they, they were taking control of Lamp so fast that even Zesta was on the other side. Didn't have enough time to react to everybody just swinging him at once. So, well played, good structure from Paper X. And now, well, on the other side of things, it looks like there's some risks being taken. I love this setup. Ooh, it's exactly shit. what they were looking for in the pistol. This time they initiated at the very start of the round instead of off contact, but they've ended up going down. And really, they that's the surprise well. element of this buy for DRX. They come in with weapons when Paper X thought it would be an eco and an easy round, although they picked up the kills nicely. Stacks in a bit of trouble. And Mako's able to help him from afar. They've regained control of the spike, but I'm not sure Paper X are finished fighting. Oh, another flash. They've just got so many to continuously aggress on this defensive side. A lot of damage done. At the same time, though, in terms of weaponry, it's almost even. In fact, DRX invested more into this round. Mind Freak, gotcha. bit of an off angle. If he can get two and even just duck out. No, he's going to stick oh, wow. around. Finish them all off. And earn himself some more orbs along the way. Four spy fails. DRX are going to have to go back to the pistols for this one. And Paper X, well. If anything, I think they come out of that with more weapons than they started with. Yeah, no, you got to be pretty happy if you're Paper <laughs> X, right? They played a pretty low buy coming into that one. Lots of pistols to work with, and they made it work. DRX, we talked about it on the previous map when they lost that second half pistol that it is something that yeah, you can see this team play. do going for the force buys. And here, the surprise element of it certainly paid off on that mid fight initially. But from there, Paper X just did not relent. You know, a lot of teams will fall back and go, oh, okay, we lost, we got one-for-one one trades, whatever. Let's yeah. fight back on the site. These guys were like, all right, I'm going to TP back, then I'm going to come through, flash again, going to put... Then he put his, like, decoy up middle, then ran back through and TP back. Like, they had no idea what was going on. Oh, Benkai. <laughs> Set up ready. Hot flash again. He's running off the back of it, oh. but it is only going to be the one. Spike down a. Not falling for the fake out. Actually, Jing's just going. He's just running. Oh, that nade's good. Wow. The thing is, they're going to manage to avoid Double it. Now the rest of the team look to actually just take this control. It's such an aggressive defense. Even versus the pistols. They're wanting to try and fight. Why is it? A buzz. He's now found another. This is starting to fall apart a bit. It's the aggression finally punishing. And now Mind Freak left again. He got three kills in the last round. Yeah. He needs to do I mean, I, I, well, I'm saying given always over, like... DRX now have weapons to work with. Zest is going to have his heal online in a bit and be able to at but least heal either himself or probably Buzz right back up. With the fact that he's like Mako in full health, this is a round that looks set to be in the hands of DRX, and it is okay. taken <laughs> convincingly with three players surviving, a free phantom for them as well. The second what round did forced by didn't Zest quite pay off, but they have got it back somehow <laughs> on the eco. Yeah, I feel like these are the blips that you're going to see on the radar. For I paper like, for I, I've, again, in rounds where you know your opponent's economy is low, to be this aggressive, oh, it's no always going to have massive risks around it, but they don't want to give they that should add up, a because like, then they know that they would have given um, some of the weapons. Time out feature I do agree in the though, game, the Phantom so. did seem a little bit much, especially uh -huh. at that sort of range. I just don't feel like the value is there. Now you get maybe the most mixed bag buy I've ever seen. 
Uh, it's been a long, long time <laughs> since that will be I've so seen good. a Yoru op as well. Laz, he's still in this tournament. I think that's the only man who's ever done it. You've got a Yoru op and then a judge in the hands of Rays. This is a, a mixed buy indeed. The Vi having the Spectre. But the operator is where they look to take initial contact here on middle. TP ready to get them back over towards the B side if he needs. And he will in a moment. There's the peak initially. Nice. RB down immediately. And that's a great start. I think DRX will be pretty surprised with having run into a Yoru op to start. Yeah, uh, but I, I guess at this point you almost have to expect the unexpected when it comes to Paper X. Like, that's the problem. That, like, no one else in the world is going to be playing this comp. So you can only have hard enough. prepped for them. And even then, it, it, they're not scrimming you anymore. They stopped doing that a month ago so that they could have these cheeky little plays that you're not going to be expecting when coming into this tournament. There's no way that Forsaken's going to go through the teleporter, try to fight them in TP, and then, okay, his teleporter is actually gone. His gate crash it was in the spawn, but it's disappeared now. So he won't be able to rotate as quickly, and that works out perfectly for DRX Excuse as they look to push forward. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Jing getting himself <laughs> one, but he'll be taken down afterwards. Now the site's basically lost with the wall in the way. The plants should be secure. I feel like I'm back watching F4Q again. Like, <laughs> just, just blast pack, judge plays. A little bit of utility being placed, but caught. While coming out of the animation, Devi has managed to clear one out. RB is going to be bought back from the fray, but Stax needs to get aggressive while the rest are rotating. Can't allow them to get on that defusal, and well, they should have a gravity well or something to try and pull them off, but they managed to get it to half. Not a bad position and something that might not necessarily be expected. The peek out isn't going to garner anything. RB does manage yeah, one, but nice. he can't escape. Then Kai again, so good with those fault lines. And they have plenty of time, Mitch. I love the use of the molly coming through for Mind Freak as well inside the smoke when they start the defuse. So these players, they have to allow it to go halfway. The only option they had was to spam through. And as soon as they tried that, there was return fire, I think, from yeah. Benkai taking the player down. With three to one now on the board, that is a remarkable recovery by Paper X off the back of a pretty risky investment. I mean, there were a lot of things here that might have cost them. And that judge in particular, finding value oh. from that, honestly, he could have gotten a lot more if the timing was, I, I don't want to say better because there's no way he can know, but luckier, let's say. Why I like it in those highlights as well. You see the two of the mobs, he's six, because they did use a res. Players that died were completely stunned up by fault lines from Benkai. He has yeah, been yeah. doing incredible work with that small piece of utility and already. We're going to see the initial aggression. Look how fast this rotation is. They're already looking to try and get four players within this B side. Make it five, in fact. The Orgo strikes used to slow them down, and RB's taken down in the meantime. Seeker's out for Devai, but he's got cover. Bankai coming in to save the day, and Devai's going to dance around that smoke. He goes down, but he knows exactly where Stax is. That information's fed to his teammates, and, okay, Stax can fall back and has some Seekers of his own, but in a 1v4... Even getting nah. a plant down here would be ambitious and quite difficult. I like the Paper X. We're sticking together for a while as four, but splitting into 2-2 two, two makes a lot of sense here just to cover more ground. I don't think it's a stat that anybody can pull, but I would love Any. to know how much of the game Paper X spend running over walking. Because <laughs> I feel like it's going to be higher than anyone else ever. Because it's, it's like their rotation there was so quick. Now, the player on the site is actually relatively low. Yeah, I, I think it's actually very surprised if Mind Freak peaks. He actually does off the back of the stun. He gives an opportunity. Left. Flash through as well. Stax oh is doing God. incredibly well to isolate these jewels. The other player is coming in on the flank. If he can somehow find this frag, he's got an opportunity and actually moves into a safe spot to utilize the Seekers. He's going to get the wallbang for down and now he even knows where Forsaken is. Watch this Could just case. go for the plant, bringing this back to try and ace it. Pop flash out to leave him <laughs> blind. Leaves himself wow. blind a little I mean bit as well. Forsaken still just trying to sneak his way, trying to ruin the day. Oh Stax. my oh, god. The headshot in the end around that never should have been. I mean, back and forth the entire map so far. We have had rounds that shouldn't be won. The eco from DRX, the mix buy for what Paper X, but I think that one's taken the cake for now. Unbelievable work. A 1v4 ace clutch. And he isolates every duel. Uh, you can definitely look at that as some mistakes from Paper X, but I understand Benkai wants to get out there to help his low HP teammate who was one bullet through the wall away from going down. The operator swap out for and because Forsaken. Stuff and I did today, I'm so tired. Up, but such a crispy shot hit by Stax. That is three oh, to two. Oh. And now Paper X are left down to the eco. <laughs> the tables are turning too damn fast. The man's a god. 
Like, he read everything perfectly. I'm like, sure, the Seekers at the end was the icing on the cake, just to huh? give him the information. But it was the isolation of sky. every single uh, mm -hmm. one of, of those no, no one stacks. So clever mm -hmm. in those sort of spots. Oh, okay. That was me. As you said, he was like, he came to me and was begging, like, please train me. And I was like, okay. Free Smith being kind. Come on, Tony. Combinations of stuns and flashes and light freaks. That is okay. They know that someone's made that move. Gonna burn up, run. Oh, God, run. Nice. as well, yeah. Won't have any impact off the back, though, obviously. No one's pushing up from DRX. They're waiting to go into the A site. They've been spotted up by Divide, tagged through the wall. Not having an easy time getting out of there. He has managed to reposition with Forsaken. Oh. They're not going to get on top of the wall. Oh, wow. They try to break it. Divide goes down. Showstopper attempt. It's going to find wow. nothing. I, that was an ambitious ultimate. Maybe not wanting to go all the way up. Just being headshotted. It's actually found the death through the edge of the box. <laughs> and then just seconds later, we have a blast pack kill. RB holds his ground. And he's going to wipe them out. Leaving just Mime Freak, the late Lurk, once again. Trying to come back through. And Buzz is watching and waiting. The RX not letting well, anything <laughs> get out of control. The ult's not really having the impact they would have desired. And they're going to equal up that scoreline. Well, no surprise why we were talking about the potential forces in round two from DRX. We said Ooh. confidence is the way to play, and so far, it has been working out for them. Face into that buy, sure, we expect them to win that Holy. round and equalize things up. The way that they've been getting this done, the clutch I'm, from I'm actually and interested who's going to win this. Off the they both have insane rounds. Side. They both this have insane a pretty tough dumb round. place as well. Hey, <laughs> I, I don't even want to theorize what he's going to do. Need to do that, everything. Things can get wild. Let's you know, I need say. to say and DRX the and Curious um, are like and some of these not doing a lot of DRX mistakes. A bunch to work with. Although the one upside is that that showstopper was burned up in the last round for, for nothing. And here's the showstopper on the other side, getting away with a kill inside of. <laughs> just, just watching what Forsaken is going to try and attempt here. Pop flashing out, dissipates back to the A side, but the rest of his team are going to be left somewhat alone. They've warned uh, themselves into the corner! Uh, what just was happened? That? He even jumps back down off the wall, and now it's, it's somewhat That is such stuck. a good cover for it's him, a though. a weird position to be in Benkai in the corner as well. The flash is solid. One isolated, but can't get himself the second. And now, well, the man who gate crashed away now has to try and run back. And that He's already got his Seekers back. <laughs> He used in that clutch yeah. just two rounds ago. Mm -hmm. And he got four kills. <laughs> it certainly helped out. Yeah. Right, there was two right after the Seekers. Forsaken, still with a flash in his ult to play with. He's going to be moving oh. into this 1v2 for now, clearing the angles with the Vandal. Elbow. needs the headshot, which is 32 health. And Paper X. They're not going to have an easy time. The RX are just stuck in. <laughs> Hello, chill. So I and I get... Uh, spike and then they can run it off the clock in the positions Man, he's peeking so exactly the wrong corners. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And they even believe it's a fake to start with. Aww. Gorgeous stuff. I like the fact that you sent like the one guy out did, of Puka and the player inside um, of Elbow is just going to sit there. exactly the wrong corners. Every no of the wrong corners, none of the real corners. Away. A fourth round if he would have run team. like that and into that elbow, he would have gotten the kill. Leaving it down to another eco. DRX, despite a, a pretty terrible start to this, uh, they've certainly recovered the fumble. Yeah, uh, definitely they a little bit more shaky. Fumble. I think if you end up locking you and your teammate behind a wall in the cubby. <laughs> and, and the fact that I, I think if the player didn't fall off of the wall, it probably gets two kills there. It's not quite as pretty Where as Where are my points? Liquid lost. Liquid won the second round. They're going to take it four rounds already on that attack. <laughs> Again, back to pistol. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how stupid can it be? <laughs> Pacific, man. Cool. Like, right, be to see what I said, I we are like voting for a second map, and you are annoyed that you lost your points. Yeah, Liquid got like 13-3 or 13-4. He feels it can bring teleport. value. Who knows? Because again, we, we don't really see this in competitive play. Yeah, fake TP'd over towards A side, but I don't think anyone was close enough to really hear that. Hoping that they're going to get DRX running up through B long, but now some players have been spotted. And look at the immediate reaction. Blinded. Stax goes up, Blinded. makes a bit of noise, pops his flash, and then he's on his way back around. His teammates. Paper X need to get side. like the next, with no next crash couple of over rounds. There anymore. They this can't leave lose again. Spot. Paper X stacked up on exactly the wrong side, and they're realizing that now with the smoke's going down, with the space being seized, and soon enough with the plan coming through. 
it's going to be an attempt again to try and play through this. <laughs> Forsaken making Spike noise at least, but they're going to have themselves the Viper's Pit to play within. Covering off the spike, Benkai has pushed himself in. Trying to get a little bit more aggressive, Ooh. but Mako is ready for it. And with the players being so low, every time he takes a <laughs> battle, off. it becomes easier and easier. Also, okay, I was going to say, it looked like Buzz had that covered. Forsaken will drop one, Mitch, but, well, I, I think that might be all. Yeah, there's an immediate response from DRX. They thin out this defense on the way back through. Another big clutch oh, needed, shit. and they're on their way. Uh, Two kills already found. Rifles retrieved. Here comes uh, an orbital strike, and a dive in. Mind oh, Freak's no. taken for taken out. But Mako going down doesn't really help them with so little time. Mind Freak tries his best. But we end up with DRX coming out ahead. Uh, another round that Tom, I, I think, you know, not oh, as clean as happened? maybe either team would have liked. Forsaken going down to that ult. I mean, he was just barely inside it, but it was enough. The worst thing is if he just. I, mean, I guess it's back. good for them because they get mm -hmm. them Mac the, the yeah. like money from the oh, middle down. Oh, you it. He's gonna he's gonna run in. Yeah. No, so he, he tried to play on the edge and just clips it enough. Oh my God. The, the shot that he connects onto Marco <laughs> was fantastic, but there was only one way he could go. Yeah. It's a nice attempt, especially again with what weaponry they had. They used those ultimates to make things incredibly costly. Why did DRX he walk still come out with a round? Into the. Oh. I'm confused. Done well to find that, but you have to remember. Pe oh, I mean, I'm confused anyways. They had nothing. They had barely anything to play with. Initial push down on God. the long, and they've kept two players of close. Right, please that, don't, out? don't die they here. They, he's on the other side, and you don't know that, and you're gonna die. Players on the other side, he could be in a lot yeah, of just danger. Just to back off here. at least, here give I up that control. Here. Lots of players spotted <laughs> here. outside. Here. Oh, he's actually gonna try it. Thought he was sticking around, man. <laughs> Once he popped the flash down, I'm like, is this guy crazy? He saw three players, but he decided to gate crash out. Oh, you give me a heart attack, Forsaken. Ah, it's given them information of at least where the players are. And I, I think they've fallen back off of their initial aggression onto B, but you can see that it's definitely in the head. Of Why Buzz. did you do like it then? That's about as far back as you're ever going to play yeah. unless you're just sat within your That was such a bad play so then. Now they have to try and clear out some of these more aggressive angles. Lots of utility. This setup is beautiful, but Jin gets out. He manages to escape and still holds onto the position, even has utility of his own to try and hold them back, but Forsaken caught in a bit of an odd spot, facing the wall, trying to have the anti flash. Oh, man. And in the meantime, the RX oh, have man. cleared out every single player. Stacks is popping at the moment. Okay. It's left all onto Benkai. I mean, and actually, I think he's heard that rotation. It's somewhat of a ruse, but they end up going in that direction anyway when they realize the site is clear. Yeah, and with Buzz having lurked over on B he's for so long, he's already got this right. position cleared out fully. He's ready for Bankai to make his oh, way through. But now he senses, all right, at this stage, he'll, planted. he'll think I'm here. Element of surprise kind of faded away. Pops the smoke, falls back. And he's going to play this with his teammate. Another thing for DRX is just the patience play, man. They set up. They take every advantage they can get. Nobody's swinging alone. And the first point of contact is going to be up inside of Hookah. Benkai is going to have to hit that shot and then immediately adjust to Buzz. Not an easy duel to take. He's been spotted now, yeah. and there's the double swing to close it. Really well handled. And at this point, this is the kind of play you need to see from I mean, the The thing is, like, I don't know what to expect at all anymore. Because of, big clutch plays. Because of so the 8 4 the DRX had. Last map. On paper, X's they still map, got they back completely. I mean, this is a threatening position. Now a timeout will come through from the Paper X boys. They are facing into an eco, though, so I wouldn't expect success immediately. Yeah, this is a map as well for DRX that they've been avoiding quite a bit. Like, it, it's out of all of the maps in the pool, this is the one that I think they have the worst record on. They've only played Fracture once, and they've won it, and that was versus Onslayers, who also don't really play the map. Yeah. Uh, so they've been batting that out quite consistently, especially with the, the comp that's also run there, an incredibly aggressive one, similarly to what we saw in Haven. I think it was a good ban. So coming in onto this map, they've clearly done the work, knowing that they want to have that six map pool, as most teams will. And yeah, the coming into this map on the attack side, they've looked very controlled. And I think that's something that for DRX is always going to be incredibly important. Like, okay, you get caught off initially, you adapt in those scenarios. And then after that, they just start clearing all of these aggressive angles and being very patient to make sure that these cheeky plays don't actually work out. Because you saw how deep these players were like obviously the dimensional drift that gives you the ability to get out of there the two players that push down long alongside it that amount of control normally isn't given up and if it is you normally don't win the round absolutely yeah considering they had the info so early they spotted the three players outside of bath everything was going the, their way in terms of the info game but a couple of times now we've seen forsaken caught off i mean playing the anti flash in the corner his teammates orbital strike the previous round not having the best of rounds there 
And we're going to see him come into this one with a Marshall. He really loves the scope on the Yoru. I, I'm not sure that I love it, but we'll see. See if it grows on me. <laughs> well, he's been doing quite well, at least, when he's had that operator in play. Uh, the, the, hasn't played it particularly a huge amount because of how aggressive he's going to be. Like He wants to be challenging through those TPs. He wants to be pushing forward. <coughs> but there's definitely been moments where he's been caught out. Then Kaiko's pushing. Now, there's a lot of open angles from this point onwards, and I'd be very surprised if he manages to get anything. In fact, you can see the instant reaction of yeah. free kill for RB. Nicely connected. The RX will just breeze into this site now. The TP coming through from Forsaken. For the Marshal, I mean, he's going to have a tough time clearing out that. If he ends up in a close range fight. Uh, the guy is able to just push through here, but the shot won't be connected. Zess goes down. That's a rifle upgrade for Forsaken. Bat control in their favor. They know where DRX are stuck in towards lamps. Down in the bottom of middle. This could be huge just as they look to isolate these close range dual pistols in hand. A stinger for Jing opens it up. The buzz goes huge. Three kills to secure the round. Now seven on the board for DRX. These guys are steaming ahead on Fuck the attack no. side. Yeah, their off the plants just look so controlled. Like, even though they gave up certain the portions of the map because players were lost, they then react, reclaim others. And I, I don't think we've seen a success, since the pistol at least, seen a successful retake of lamps. Like, uh, whoever's been there, even if they're stunned up, has just been so confident in holding onto that position, whether it's been Buzz or RB in previous rounds. and. Retaking without Wait, that control 14, is always five? so incredibly difficult, and I, I just don't think there's been anywhere near oh as my much God. there to be able to force them out That's of that one. spot. Seven to three after some early round shenanigans, the RX have gone into a dominant spot, just like they did on the previous map. At this point, Tom, for Paper X, it's do or die time in this half. All the economy invested into this round. Going to have a showstopper and Rolling Thunder coming up with just one kill. DRX are taking this understandably slowly, understanding the, the weight that is in this round, how important it can be. They're playing the default, holding for the aggression. Paper X up to the similar Yoru tricks that we've talked about. Yeah. It's like seeing the fake out of the map is the, the most like mind blowing. Like you look just like there's, oh, he's there. Nope, he's not there. He's <laughs> over here. And it's just like <laughs> trying to focus on it. I feel like they need to almost make him a, di a, a different color when it's the, the fake out to be less confusing. <laughs> Forsaken, however, has managed to man. get one and then escape. Ooh. Jing also just trying to delay. That was beautiful how he managed to get up there. So beautiful, they Ooh. didn't even expect it, but he whips his shots. Not going to find anything more and they'll take control of the site. That's a huge whiff. RB left alive. They're closing in on the site. The heal's coming in for RB. And he's spraying back through. The Rolling Thunder committed. Maybe a little bit late, though. They just lost a player. As they go back in, there's no flashes to play with. Bankai is going to try to close the distance himself, but he's got a 1v3 now after the first kill. And they're just tucked in in all these little corners. The crossfire with Long. RB should be swinging. Not able to get the kill, but... Oh, actually, he'll be forced out. This is really good for Bankai. Kill with the Aftershock, 1v2. Time on his side. Information, though, not really there to play with. And Swing from Stacks confirms the round. Eight on the board for DRX. Paper X are running out of cash, Tom, coming Last into the final round. round. The well, they're, yeah, they're running out of rounds as well. Like, it, it's been incredibly strong. And, and that's the thing. I feel like there's been opportunities where we could have seen Paper X, like, catch someone off guard and they just haven't been able to do so like the movement movement that came out from jing there was fantastic like able to get up above take an aggressive angle doesn't connect and then you just see instantly drx just lock him out with utility they don't allow him to have a repeat they don't allow him to have another chance and anybody else who's battling elsewhere on the map well they, they've already lost by that point. so not only did paper x have a poor economy oh but never mind screw that point for second gone he's running it down flashes in mind freak trades showstopper out to secure it rb doesn't Man, even you, need it you need and to this is what that's i was going to point working. out you had a res for drx but that's gone so you have the showstopper as well and sure jing has his own but after that initial fight and losing all that all of the players this is a next to impossible round oh that stun great that oh showstopper gets nothing and with 30 hp and a specter in the hands of both remaining players this round is well it should be drx's and they're even going to confirm it rotating to a look, leaving look, jing look, to try and run and look who's right behind him behind the cosmic divide rb's going to secure this bit of map control and that's great information because now yeah. they know exactly where he's going there's and he has only, no idea. There's only one way he can go. So you can see instantly Stax is already watching this. The communication from DRX is second to none. 
everybody's on the same page of where this is currently going to be coming from. You can see the hold over on the other side, the plant even being in an aggressive position. And it's almost like Stax has eyes in around the map or something. Maybe he's playing a side from we just didn't know it. Because his timing, his precision on this map has been superb. DRX 9-3 in the lead, Mitch. That was dominant. Well, I mean, the first time someone had a Cypher can when they shouldn't. 9-3 to three at the half. Pretty damn strong position for DRX. You know, we had some concerns coming onto this map. And, well, I think they have been well and truly put to rest. Okay. But you yeah. know so what? It's we were the only ones with But I don't want to say anything because the they came back from a say. Let's see what they made of last that half. Last map. Thank you so much, Mitch and Tom. I didn't do predictions yet. Nine I might else okay, today. Sorry, I mean, by the way. DRX clapping back on Paper Rex's map pick there. Yeah. Jess, that hurt a little to watch. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say it was necessarily. Okay, in that small break, I'm going to look what's new on the training range. You ready? Oh. Mm hmm. Okay, can let this open in the back. Oh. Fucking hell, fucking up. Okay, don't react to that too fast. Give me like Three two seconds, seconds because okay. of too late. Like. It looks so good in black. I'm done. Okay, practice, shooting range. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> oh, I didn't say anything. Ah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I forgive you. Okay, well, let's see, we're going in with... The Don't react too fast. I'm really slow. Just because you can, like, what the fuck? be louder. With shh, shh, shh. Oh. Sorry. There were sounds. What the fuck was that? That was creepy. I'm out, I'm out, bye, bye, dash, <laughs> dash, dash, dash. What was that? <laughs> Did you see it already? Okay, don't scream right now, I, I'm gonna make my headphones louder. Was that it? Uh huh. I only saw it in Russian, and in Russian she says, I... "I am." Uh, why is that the creepiest sound as well now? <laughs> huh? Uh. 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 Is that meant to be, dude? Get, can it go away? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, now it's gone. I guess that means that she's watching you. Fucking hell, it's your fault. <laughs> what the fuck? What's here? Agents. Word around headquarters travels fast. So I'll cut, it, I'll cut to it. The recent threat to our security was a single independent target. She was apprehended last night. Thanks to the effort of our strike team in Turkey and is currently being detained. 
An unusual move for us, I know, but this is an unusual situation. I need all of you on high alerts. We'll have answers soon. Cool. Oh. Cool. Shit. Hello? Can I... What are you? <laughs> I'm fucking in front of that. Ah, oh, because they're fucking explosion. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, nice. Uh, in Russian. Uh huh. In Russian, she says, I'm in your head. Oi. What is that room? <laughs> Open. <laughs> Let me in! Oh, shit, my. my Sorry for whoever's in there, I just smoked you. Nice. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Wait, can you try to do that one more time? Is it gonna sound different? <laughs> what? Maybe oh, with I different agent or something. Uh, can I just change my agent? Uh, gonna... there was a teaser with the. Um, yeah, but can you be a little, a little quieter? I have my headphones way too loud now. Because I want to hear everything can in here. Can you try this with Breach? Because okay. Breach was in teaser. He was like in the. Uh, uh, oh! Trap. How the fuck did I not see you? Boy. How did I... How did I not see that? Am I blind? <laughs> wait, wait. I played practice range yesterday. How did I not see that? It's alright. It's alright. Let's warm up every day there and just don't notice stuff. Bird's eye. This is Breach. How's the view? Bird's eye to ground. The vulture owns the sky. What's your status? It's another quiet night in Istanbul. Not anymore. Cypher to all stations. I have a signal. Our blackmailer is headed east, entering Sector 4. Neon, this is Sova. Confirm you have target visual. Yep, got him. They're entering... Looks like a warehouse. I see it. Ground team, collapse and converge on Sector 4. Bird's eye en route. I'm descending to surveillance altitude. Let's do this. Closing the nets. Chamber to team, I am in sniper position, a neighboring rooftop northwest of the warehouse. Do we have eyes inside? Oh, no internal feed. This bird's little nest is off the grid. Then we're in the right place. I'm scoping a skylight at the far corner, possible access point. Leave that to me. Establish visual, then hold for team execute. Do not engage target. Copy. Cypher, how's the emergency chatter? Nothing yet. We are ghosts. Cypher's with me at the south garage. I've got north. Sova? On the roof. Entering now. Sova, you've dropped off my visual. The beacon lock is holding. You are go. The eastern half is a warehouse. Ten aisles running north-south. Still no sign of target. I see offices on the western side. Empty. I'm moving in for drone recon. Negative. Hold position. Sending Cypher in to join you. Deploying drone now. Negative, Sova. Hold position. There's the corridor. Doors on each side. Birds out to Sova. You are to hold your current position and wait for backup. Confirm order. I'm entering the first office. Yeah, Gloria. He can't hear us. Birds out of Sova. Do you read me? Sova, come in. Respond. That is less than ideal. Cypher, Neon. Advance to reestablish connection with Sova. Maintain stealth protocols. Electric locks on the gates. I got him. Let's find our friend. Taka, what was that? You are both showing elevated vitals. I need a sit rep. Cypher, Neon, report. K.O., we're blind in here. Stand your close, stand your close. Hang on, I'm coming in. Birds out.
to chamber. Do you have any visual? Silver, come in. On your right. I can't move. Get it off me. Another one incoming. Chambers loaded. Call out my targets. Breach is 8 o'clock. 10 liter. Ah, directed. Oh, hell of it. Fall back. Fall back. Moving up to reinforce. Covering. Chamber, it's on you. Setting Vulture to auto. I'm going in. KO negative. You're too high. You are powerless. Freeze. Hands in the air. Don't move. Get them up. Now. Target secured. He's down. We got her. Uh, hold on. She was alone? She's a radiant. My scanner's picking up chatter. Police incoming. Something about this feels off. Of course it does. We didn't find the target. She brought us here. You think it was a trap? Hey, we have to move. Order stand. Everyone rendezvous at the LZ. We're taking her back to base for interrogation. Move out. What the fuck just happened, man? That was a whole movie, dude. What, what happened? That was a whole ass movie. Hey. Okay. <laughs> um you, you need to go to Brimstone's office two more times. There are three different voice lines. Why is it lagging? Oh, because of the stream probably wait. Close to it. That's ah, lagging anyways. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I need to redraw it completely. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, is there something else? Like anything? Mm -mm. Nothing on the whole map, nothing. That's because we didn't notice that I checked all the new stuff. Uh huh. I didn't even notice you can go upstairs there. Yeah, there's still nothing here though. Completely empty. Oi. But cool. Uh huh. Is the stream lagging at all? Because I'm down to 58 frames the whole time. It's so annoying. I. Uh, it's. But lag. Holy fuck, that was a huge lag. What? Oh. What did you say? Yeah, it's lagging. Stream is lagging. There are like... Beep. Beep. Yeah, it's annoying. I can't Stop do anything. I, I wanna go out. No, I wanna go out. I just watched the match. I can do this later. We don't want to stream that with lags right now and the lags won't stop. 100%. Hello, Stream Deck. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Basically, just closes it completely. That is absolutely huge. And initially, he was moving to get the flank, oh, so thinking that the players were already gone, that they were on yep. their way to plant, and he hears that Easy. step behind him, and it's like Christmas came early for him. He couldn't believe his luck. Two players running through his pit, not even looking at him. This right here. Were it not for the showstopper, mm. I mean, he was spraying was through close. that. It could have come close to taking Mako down. In I don't want to say it, Matt but survives and sound wins is it out. lagging it's again. All around that Viper's pit, eleven on, on the board for DRX. Yeah. yeah. God, no, it's Real. lagging. Stop, it's Firefox, please, yeah. fucking hell. To far more situational. Ah. Uh, still have a so roll of thunder right. available for an entry. Go. Again, uh, there's a lot of cool combination things you can do alongside that. You're stunning them up not enabling them to be able to turn around to take that fight versus him. There's a lot of potential, but he's necessarily going to be the focus point of this. Seems like he's playing the whole time right now. They haven't checked the right as they go through, but they'll spam it anyways. Luckily, <sighs> already had Mako drop down. Over towards the side, Paper X have been cleared out long with the Yoru. 
I don't have to mind for this right now. Why is it lagging? Three players here ready to fight. Rolling Thunder for left side. They'll fight the right. And TP in on the back of the Rolling Thunder. Look how quickly Forsaken's already here. Able to eliminate RB and almost takes down Stacks with a sliver of HP. That's a quick uh, cool. teammates. Mako hasn't been spotted just yet, but they're ready. They knew he could be in the smoke. Zest quick to bounce back onto the site. They know the buzz okay. is there. It really, Paper X oh, didn't nice. let anything slip there. That was such a clean okay, I don't know. It seems like it's yeah, I, I really like the, the potential combinations of okay. that Rolling Thunder because normally you're you're gonna have oh. yourself yes. a raise. It's probably still gonna lag with the behind. stream off. Yes, that that's expected. The fact is though, they have two players that can get I'm in so desperately fun. quick that it's impossible for them to check every single angle at once because they're either trying to escape to make sure they're not just getting killed while they're stunned or they're going, Raze is flying over my head. So you have to try and almost focus on that. There's so much distraction to play within this composition. And yeah, then just holding on to the site at the end. 11 to eight. Remember this was a nine three first half and DRX are now back to just pistols. Again, still with a res if they get oh! into a good spot. Oh no. Well, What's there's that? the good spot, Mitch. There's the good spot. Pretty good spot, yeah. They pushed down mid, got stunned by oh. Breach, and managed to Eco, hit the shot the swinging with the Sheriff. I mean, you get mm. one bullet. One shot. They certainly didn't let it slip. Nice. These rifles are going to have a really tough time of recovering it. The one upside is that in the positions they killed them in, not wanting to over-aggress and lose their lives, they haven't retrieved those rifles. So the remaining players still only have pistols to play with. Still though, isolating these jewels not going to be easy. Smoke's down. I'm freak. Spotting one, but <laughs> he's just, 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 just gone straight into the site. He's like, an absolute man. Like behind you first. Well, RB will take that. Like a it's quick trade, off. putting it into a four versus two. It seems like a <laughs> ruse though. They're trying to fake this out, and they have pulled a rotation. If they can manage Smoke's to down. isolate Marco, this round could go in their favor. However, they've got to find him first. All they have to do is deal with Mako, but that can be a pretty tough round. They're clearing the right angle, but he's avoided them, and the timing was perfect. The shot not connected, though. Uh, now stuck in the corner. It should be easy, Mind Freak. Be played with here. Oh, he's down to 19 HP. The classic comes out, and Stax is there to save the day. Divide distracted by the teleport yeah. behind. You see just why it's not so easy to get rid of Mako. Hiding in that corner, buying so much time for the rotations to come through. DRX just looking unstoppable with four chances to close out this map and bring us to ascent. So dirty. It's just so dirty. What did you so much aggression across the map from DRX. It's not the norm of what we see from them on this map in particular. Or what we've seen so far, it's been much more passive uh, waiting sure. for these aggressive plays to come through from Paper X. And that spanner in the work Morris. has basically turned this now your, into a Why map point for them. Yes, a chance I am. to take I'm us to a third, a chance to take us to a cent, which within their region has been a phenomenal map for them. I already made it low again. I can't make it loud on stream. I'm going to die from stream. To start this one out, Paper X are looking for mid control, fighting up through. <sighs> they get it for free. Oh, yeah. are content to just give this control up. I don't even realize know if I'm stay so in this is here for Paper X. The judge always going to be scary, he has been like spotted up above. Nade stuff. for backside, going to push a player out of position. Mako in trouble, he ends up getting falling for the decoy. Oh, are you serious? Oh. That I was don't, huge misread. I, I don't think he spotted him. I think Marco managed to dodge within the tube, and because of that, it's all fallen apart. The aggression of Stax is countered, though, and oh. Devai has just got massive. He's oh. thrown no out a burning oh. star, oh. and Buzz has killed the final two. DRX are going to kind of opponent's was so nice, map by the way, but you know just how I know as Paper X did before. 13 to eight. We take this one no to three, reason. and although I wanted to see the success of Yaru, I'm happy we're heading to a third. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm not even it sure what to be we can right see now. from Paper Rex that they haven't already brought to the table. The Yoru was incredible. Is I think right? Jing had a really uh -huh. tough map here. Maybe going back over to something like Arena. Who knows? Things could change. <laughs> but no, I, I, I think realistically at this point, this is the series the that we hoped for. We knew that Paper now X see, came in. Sure, see. they might be the underdog of sorts, but it's the reality is they're putting up an incredibly strong fight. But okay. DRX are such a well-oiled machine. It is just so nice and to see some of these play. rounds, and even in the individual no. ability, like that ace map, clutch we had out of stacks. I'm not going to play today. Well, oh, is it 1-1? One, one? This is Doing what stacks yeah. plays like when he's not oh, the IGL oh. anymore. Oh. I don't want to see him IGL in a team ever again. The, the man was a literal god. He won so many rounds for them. 1v4. 
earlier in the game. Like, you start so, to realize uh, how yeah. important some of those swing rounds really became, and he had multiple of them. He absolutely did. I mean, he is popping off 24 and 11, closing out this map of fine. If you want to point to one reason that they won, he's got to be the one. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I think this map alone already means that he's going to be in the player of the match vote later on. <laughs> <'Cause Yeah. laughs> that was phenomenal. And yeah, it takes us to the third map of the series. As said, both these teams are very happy to play Ascent within their region. I would slightly lean it to DRX, but at this point, I think it's anyone's map. Now we've already seen a lot of upsets, whether it's in the maps themselves, each winning each other's map picks, or whether it's in some of the rounds that were kind of crazy. <laughs> There's going to be plenty more crazy Valorant action coming up, though, with Ascent up next after this break. Jacob, willkommen! Du kennst mich, Mann. Einen guten Portschlüssel lasse ich mir doch nicht entgehen. Wenn wir ihn besiegen wollen, muss jeder von uns eine Rolle spielen. Die neue Nummer 1 der Kinocharts. Ich brauche jemanden, der meinen Unterricht morgen früh übernimmt. Fantastische Tierwesen. Dumbledores Geheimnisse. Wer würde da nicht auf uns setzen? Im Kino. Welcome back, everyone. DRX strong and steady, looking consistent, coordinated. Jess, it's the DRX we'd love to see. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of, you know, shaking off map number one, yeah. their map pick, having to come in and win their opponent's map pick. That's always daunting, I think, because Definitely. you know for well you're going up against a composition... Yeah, I think Tom said it very, very well. You're not prepared for No one in the world is compared for, you know, prepared for this kind of composition. That's fair enough. I think they played around it super well. We said in halftime they locked him down. Mm -hmm. They made mm -hmm. sure he couldn't have the room to move. And when he did move, they locked him so far away from wherever they were that it was just you know, obsolete from the beginning, which is such a shame. Yeah, it just seemed like Paper Rex couldn't find a way to get in. Um, DRX was just dominant throughout that map. Why do you think that was, Jess? I mean, look at the man on the MVP. Stacks, God, he had a pretty good yes. game. I will say that there's not a lot of Sky players sort of, I've seen a lot of my favorite Sky players in the world move to other agents, of course, with as the changes with the agents have occurred. They've moved on to, you know, different agent areas, different roles, but Stacks, when he plays this, when he plays KO as well, I love to watch him. I think he's quite an impressive player and he makes the room for his team and, and Macro stepped up right behind him as well. I mean, both of them, right? Yeah. Like they're, they're big moments from both of those players. And it's so hard when you've got players who are playing at, as well as they are, because yeah. how do you deal with both? Yeah. Right? Like they're, and they're doing it from unconventional roles. They're doing it from unconventional places. This 
this this shot right here. <laughs> this, this, that, that ace. Was <laughs> that's oh, ace. like. Oh. And that's what I'm saying. Is, is you're doing it as a sky. You're doing it in a way that's very difficult to deal with. And when you've got so many players excelling in what's asked of them and over delivering on what's not expected of them, it's very difficult to weather if you're Paper X. I think DRX came in here understanding that there was going to be something difficult thrown their way, and they adapted to it off of the sage pick that uh, Tom mentioned, which was bloody brilliant, by the way, and the yep. fact that they the how they adapted around that pick and there was just nothing that paper x could do yeah and i love our head of broadcast stefan was like you know yoru he looks cool but that's kind of where it ends doug <laughs> yeah it's been it's been rough sledding yeah. for yoru man at zero and four oh zero no, percent production. win rate on the international oh. stage and and that's the thing is that we've seen teams try it right they they're trying to play around the agent because there there is a lot of playmaking ability there but historically it just it's been flat it hasn't worked. Old Yoru, new Yoru, Yoru is a tough thing to say. It is. Um, <laughs> say three times fast. The results are the same. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you have to say it for much longer, Doug, because I think we've seen with the 0% win rate is not something even with the changes that you can really implement well. You know, we heard in the interview, you know, Ben Kai and whatnot was speaking, of course, earlier on. Like, there were so many different teams, like, scoffing at the Yoru and whatnot. But I think for, for Paper X, what they wanted to es essentially achieve was the TP for them was, like, the sole reason reason that they wanted to have it there's like it's such a power position we can send in a fake out we can do this we can do that i'm like that's great but after three rounds i know you're doing that and you might trick me once but at that point we have the utility to deal with that we know that you're doing that and even uh, his ultimates felt underwhelming yeah i <laughs> yeah. think about in the first half if i remember correctly he had his ult for three or four rounds was just sitting on it mm. finally decides to use it and grabbed a good bit of information but there was just not enough when, when you're going to risk a pick like that it's got to be hot and All it right. just wasn't yeah and uh let's talk about map three ascent it's next <sighs> oh no man the last two maps they have been Really, really fun to watch. I really do not know how Map 3 is going to go down. J Jess, you just had that sigh there. So. I did, I did. Yeah. I mean, look, uh, the great thing here for sort of DRX fans is now that they've come back on their, you know, opponents mapping and everything like that, they've played Ascent recently and they've had really good performances on it. Unfortunately for Paper X, they haven't played this since February. So for them, they're probably scrimming it. So it's not going to be outside of the world of possibilities that they're going to be ready for. But I will say, at least in competitive play, there is okay. recency bias in my head when it mm. comes to DRX. There's some really good mm -hmm. performances on it. And I also prefer the composition that they've been running, at least recently, yeah. way more than Paper X's composition, which it's right for us to question compositionally Paper X after we just saw it sort of flop a little bit yeah. there on Bind. No, I, I think you're right. I think it ultimately comes down to whether or not DRX are going to be able to weather what Paper X are going to throw their way. We know they have something cooked up, right? We talked yeah. about the rain so on Haven that you were on Bind. I'm still confused. And on like Haven, they, they, so they well. were not able to handle the pressure that came off of Reyna's Leers and off of how they stacked their utility. I think In it will come map? down to, to and the first whether map? or not and then they the can second handle what like Paper X have cooked for some up. Reason. They, there's something there, right? Like that you know there's a trap set. Yeah. It's how they handle it. Are if they handle it, they fine, they'll be okay. Are there any ideas of what that trap could be? Oh gosh, there's no telling. No Paper telling. Yeah. It would be disingenuous for us to sit here because you could just speculate all day and then we would have 12 pages of ideas yeah. and we might still be wrong. So I think that it's kind of like the Team Liquid-esque kind of story that we have yeah. in EMEA sometimes. We're like, what are they going to bring? And then they do this more like... Could not have told you that on the yeah. desk because we just we just got to wait and that see all, for so sure. Yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, I mean, map three, we're one and one. I know y'all hate predictions, but <laughs> are you leaning <laughs> one way or another? I mean, yeah, this has really been a wild series to say the least. So, Doug, I'll put you in the hot seat first. Yeah, no, I honestly I don't mind predictions because every time that I've been right, I've been right, and I'm only right <laughs> oh, when I'm not wrong, <laughs> right? So my my rate there is actually through the roof, way better than Yoru's win rate on in the international <laughs> oh. stage. Um, um, I, I, I like DRX a lot here. Um, I, I really okay. do. I think yeah. they've shown the ability DRX. to adapt, to come into a game plan, to the, uh, come in with a game plan that can address some of the curveballs that are being thrown their way. I expect to see that again uh, on Ascent. I, I'm, I'm certainly leaning towards DRX here. I mean, they've won every Ascent. They've played this entire year. The last time they lost it was narrowly against Cloud9. Throwback there a little bit, of Ooh. course. So, you know, this, I'm going back. I'm going yeah. back to last year. So, yeah, this is going to sound more impressive when I say <laughs> it like this. They have not lost a cent since last year. Excuse that we've only had a few months in this year, but it sounds rather impressive sounds if you put good. it like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Benkai seems like he's ready to go having a staring contest with the, the cameraman there. Does he realize that's not the camera that... 
What are they? I don't oh, know. Oh, they, he's eyes. worked it out. There we go. You know, do you think if he put the Viking hat on, maybe it would help him out a little bit? I mean, maybe. <laughs> I, I, maybe. I, I hope there's maybe. more than just a hat there no. for them. No. So both of you are saying you don't think it's it for paper racks because I mean I, yesterday I don't think it's outside of the realms of possibility. Yeah, I just think if you were to seriously make me sit here and make a proper prediction of who I think would win, DRX have the recency bias check. They also have a better composition depending on if there's changes, and just overall DRX and playing on buying yeah. they shut down Forsaken that way, and that's been a lot of the game plan for paper racks time and time again in their own region. Then they just need to replicate that on a map where their composition the agents they're bringing in, in regards to KO and whatnot will shut that down time and time again. Yeah, I think the interesting thing is we think about Paper X's DRX. perspective is that their game plan did not change from map one to map two. Sure. Right? Like, there was there was spice there that they brought in with the Reyna. There was spice there that they brought in with the Yoru and the outcomes were entirely different. So you, you look at that and you go, okay, what do Paper X need to do in order to take a cent? It, it's their bread and butter, a little extra spice, right? <laughs> but where does the spice come from? Because I, I don't think the plan should deviate. I do sure. think they should continue to play with that because it keeps them unpredictable. It's very difficult to prepare against. Uh, but the, the thing is, it has been countered once Whoa. already. Uh, so it's, it's hard to lean into that and go, okay, how, how far into the bag of tricks do we go? So explain to me why. Why stick with the atypical agents? Why not scale back then? Well, because I think that's their like that's their calling card. That's what's gotten them this so far. To stick with your Correct. identity. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Stick with what's worked historically. Yeah. Yes, you just got kind of hit back. Yep. Right? And in a, in a pretty rough way. Uh, while there was a run at it at the end, it, it certainly wasn't uh, as competitive as I think they would have liked. The, the playmaking that they were looking for didn't execute at the end of the day. Okay, and we are ready to move into our prime gaming agent select. And uh, Jess, what are we thinking for left competitions hand, here? Left-hand side of the screen, that's where everyone, everyone's eyes has got to be because for if sure. it stays the same, which it won't, Mindfreak's been playing the Omen through and through, so that's not oh. so much of a surprise. But that's what I want to see. This is what I said I didn't like their composition before is because they didn't have a KJ. They didn't have a KJ. We know that DRX runs the KJ. Uh, uh, There's a lot here. There's a whole lot. Can we unpack? This is a lot to unpack, Doug. <laughs> yeah. So you explain the right hand. So you're sitting on the right hand side of the desk, at least in my position here. And then we can try and explain the left because they swapped <laughs> yeah. compositions almost. I, but this goes back to what we were talking about. I don't know if he's in chat. Spice. There, there's got to be something that can keep their opponents on the back foot and changing into the Omen, massive playmaking ability. KJ has far more control of yes. the KO, the ability to unlock his duelist to create space for them to work. I, this is, I, I love this set of paper. I really do. dropped the KO. It's gone. Jackie. I don't know, girlfriend. I know. I know you hate when I say it, but we are shook. But let's get into map three, Ascent. Mitch and Tom, take it away. Well, we are set up for a pretty exciting matchup here, Tom. Mm. Things not exactly going down as we expect in the series and a lot of the rounds. And now, Agent Select Map 3 kind of gone wild. I think they tried to counter each other. But I legitimately think that. So last time that uh, we saw DRX play, they used an Omen and a KJ. And the last time we saw it for Paper X, they used Astra in a Chamber. Now the other side have swapped to an Omen and a KJ, <laughs> and they've swapped to an Astra in a Chamber. I think both teams wanted a mirror match and instead have ended up going for opposite agents. The only <laughs> other change is Stax switching from KO to Sky to stop them having a mirror match in that regard. So I think both teams have tried to like outbrain each other, and they've ended up on though. each other's choices. I know that well, it's, it's madness. Really good for the well, Not exactly the agent select either team would have expected, I'd imagine. Take, yeah. We're diving on into map number three, round one of a Ascent with Paper Rex on the defense, but again, they're the ones attacking, moving in the middle, taking those fights, and they have stopped DRX from going anywhere near that part of the map. Instead, they switched direction over to A, and now they're slowed down by the paranoia. Yeah. Gotta wait a moment, a shock dart in, uh. now here comes the push. Yeah. Oh, the shock dart's done so much damage. Look at the HP of the DRX Spike players as they've entered eight. the site. I don't think you're gonna see much more from a single shock Ooh. dart. It doesn't matter though. Buzz connecting a crazy shot off the back of his pistol. They've also got the drone to try and hold the back. I say that, never mind. Oh, Benkai wow. just goes jumping through. Buzz ends up Eight with a 4K. HP. And DRX, even though they took so What's much damage the on the on way in, we will still get the round. Out of ammo in the head, Hunter down to 8 HP. That means Buzz is and ducks down and says, look, I'll at least try to distract them while they come he down. It, he got the four kills after he was down. Look to age. Tuck tier, bang, bang. Easy as can be, dropping <laughs> down, taking both. And that is one to zero with a 4K for Buzz. Now, 
that is actually kind of huge because he is yeah. going to be close to the tour de force coming into Paper X's full buy. So keep an eye on Buzz this round. If he gets three kills, two kills and an orb, whatever, any combination that results in him having the ult online, then the next round gets astronomically difficult for Paper X. Well, he's playing close to B as well. I, I wonder if there's no aggression out from the defensive side, which is very unlikely. Yep. You're up against Paper X. But he might just go and grab that orb, and then it's even less. It's like, what, one orb, Stream is too loud. die, or one orb, kill, die. Like, th that's going to get him enough to actually get it. Instead, though, it is, is very it? passive from Paper X. And I'm talking like back, this. Is it real to loud? What sort of aggression is coming through? DRX are expecting something. They're expecting a move on the other side. And I was because just too there's far been away, no information other than a single drone, which will make it into A, because they I'm sitting like everybody. this. Yeah, and then this I'm is exactly huge. the I same. Mean, the realizing he volume. can't really make a play through that at the start. <laughs> tries he to, then uh, unrealized it <laughs> and ran through the smoke. Yep, and it went as expected. Buzz now with his oh third kill of the round, oh and dear. you know what that means. Next round, we are going to have that ultimate online. Also, you can set some again? Just still, it's still the force, uh, I was practicing with Enzo all weekend, so don't <laughs> worry. This is going to be really tough. And I mean, for DRX, they, they can lose a weapon now. They, they wouldn't even care. But I suppose Buzz can have that backup of a Spectre to play with a Tour de Force. That's going to be such a tough round for Paper X. Oh, it's a flawless, a prime gaming flawless round two. You really couldn't wish for a better start to this map if you're DRX. No, no, literally. And unless maybe you had RB somehow. I guess I really was too far away. Well, Sorry. But sure. I, I feel like that's. <laughs> that's one ambitious. of the most ambitious <laughs> things God. you could ever hope for. So, yeah, the fact that Buzz is going to go in. And for those of you who maybe just started watching DRX, you're like, oh, okay, well, I've seen Buzz play a little bit of Jet, but ultimately, he's your Sentinel player. Why are they getting so excited? This guy was absolutely nuts last year playing the duelist role. Huh? Like, he is an incredibly aggressive player, someone who is fantastic with the operator. Play, and a lot play. of people, when they saw him switch I'm to Sentinel, were basically like, well, he's just going to be on chain for the whole time. This His killjoy was a massive surprise. Nobody expected that. If they did, a bit weird. But either way, the fact that he now gets this going into the round, and just look at the sheer pace of the rest of the team. They are just running. They're blitzing their way in. Device come through Ooh. the smoke again. Ooh. He just Ooh. ran in for the second time. But oh, okay, what is Buzz. With Buzz. Okay. He's not even doing it with the Tour de Force. Oh, what? Around, he gets what? It. what? It's the fourth kill. He won't close out the round. What is the that flag, responsibility man? is left to Mako. But man, oh man, why? is he oh, doing dude, why am I too low? 1v1 <laughs> spike retrieved for Saken okay, trying to sneak his way behind. This is the full buy for Paper Rex. And it's Sorry if it's too low, to but if you can't hear me, it's no way. is on his way to A, and he's pretty much guaranteed a spike plant. I need a tactical pause. I don't know if I can carry on with the rest of this round. Even Spike still, though, player. it could be ruined by Forsaken. He's got good positioning, the timing even better, but the smokes actually mask that spot. And because the rest of the angles are cleared, Marco is able to just hold back in a position where he has to almost fight him close. Forsaken, though, slowly making his way, but Marco just wow. decides to swing him. Ego the man, and they will take themselves the bonus. Production, give me that slow-mo right now, <laughs> because... That, like, I, I, no, I don't what care about this there? shot. I definitely don't care uh. about this one. Yeah, this one, these ones are nice. Give me this one. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, get out of here, man. The get out of here. Hell was that. You can't. And, and the best part is, Tom, he had the Tour de Force online the whole time. He could have switched to it. It was just as quick as going to the headhunter. Pull it out. Go for the shots. But no. He's like, oh, I'm just going to run at them with a Spectre. Kill two. Down to the headhunter. Also, full blind. Headshot that guy. Get out of here, whoever, man. Whoever decided to put that clip from his POV without the x-ray, you're my favorite human being. Yes. Because yes. I don't think people realize how <sighs> BS that shot was until you see what he saw, which was nothing. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Paper Rex have got to be absolutely devastated after that round. I mean, we theorized that Buzz could have impact. The Tour de Force would be a key part. And yeah, got okay, one kill. It, it opened the round, <laughs> but <laughs> but it did nothing other than that. It was a Spectre, a full blind headhunter, and a beautifully timed clutch by Mako. I mean, every part of that. The smoke he put down, crossed to underneath, and then he counted to 10 in his head, peeked out wide, caught him off guard. I just. It literally. Could not have been better. DRX are just on. What does the video set for Veron, by the way? Uh, yeah, nerd coming out right so now. Patient as well. They know again that they're up against mostly pistols. 
Oh, they're and streaming with 8k and with low thing. Now he's in low an latency. aggressive enough position, but again, it's the you same know I think that's a normal latency, I, I need to reload. I, these lags are fucking annoying me, honestly. They should expect this. It's forsaken after all, but he's gonna actually- he's Oh he's my god! <laughs> Oh, I love watching this guy play. His brain does not work like anybody else's. No one would, do, no one else would do that. I, I, what, that was like uh, Doctor Strange seeing all the possibilities. The only way he gets away with that, and it's so quick, man. So close. Oh my. Well, he got the kill, and that was good, and everything with the shorty, and it was fun to watch. But you know, they aren't an eco after all, and everybody else is just being ruined. Yeah. The only other thing is, I, like, I have a feeling he popped his knives. For second, did. Yes. Uh, well, we'll see. Ooh. I could be wrong. Maybe I imagined that in the in the confusion of everything. How much going is he on, right now? But I think after he, he used the shot. Died only one, uh, right? Yeah, he popped his lives. Oh no. There's the dash in. Oh, they <laughs> saw him on the edge as well. <laughs> he got me so good. Ma like, Marker doesn't even react. Wait. Like, he's just like, yes. Yeah, 13 1. Did he kill someone in spawn? He is the carrying the DRX right now. He is legit carrying. I didn't even notice in the replay because I was watching for the guy at the shorty inside the smoke. Like, other people <laughs> aren't doing exactly, stuff, but he yeah, is he, carrying. Well, either 13 way. 1. <laughs> in four that's, rounds. That's, that's actually he's, insane. He's averaging more than three around. <laughs> in the first four. Well, here comes the full buy for Paper Rex. I'm done. I mean. Better chance than we've had so far for them. Operator in the hands of Forsaken, and it's holding yeah, a long. I think he was, he was gambling on a trap being there. So that's, <laughs> that's why that smoke looks weird. Yes. But he's hoping that he's smoke, smoked off a trap. But instead, it's actually a lot deeper. Now, this does still give an awful well, lot of control. The missions in a second. After this one, I'm going to close the mission. So Mind Freak is happy to just hit five this gives them the A-site on lock other than mid, and it means they can gamble the rotate over into B, which has been a high point of contention in these early rounds. Yeah, I don't mind him putting the smoke down here at all for his teammate. He could try to make that sneaky oh, play behind nice the Y when they've got so much control, and that's exactly why they're content to sit still. The operator I'm holding down the A site. They've got A long lock. They've got a stack up on B. Killjoy Utility revealing that these players have come up through middle. Great turret placement as well, just to gather all that information. This is something the Paper X have planned from the very start of the round, and DRX are walking right into the trap! That is dangerous, though, caught with a flash out. Luckily, they're able to keep it in their favor. Not really, though. DRX quickly answering back. Jing gonna try to pop the flash around. Swinging through, the spray is good for one, but not for two. DRX now with the advantage. Oh my and god, Mako man. Closing that round out beautifully. Yeah, it's, four it's kills like, for him there. what is that? The, the thing what is, is with this the... round as well is like you talk about like Paper X having this stack up. DRX use Seekers, they knew how many mm -hmm. players were in that site and decided to challenge them anyway. Decided to push in. This team is feeling incredibly confident at this point. How many players have we now seen <laughs> run through that smoke? I, I feel like it's almost just something in the back of Marco's head. It's like someone, someone's going someone's gonna to go through it, aren't they? But it, yeah, again, solid positioning from him. No surprise that Paper X are going to call themselves a timeout. 5-0 down. The manner of which they've been losing these rounds Kill as well. Just look at the cash that. that's currently stacked up. The lowest player has 4,600 credits, and that's going in with a full buy. Sure, ultimates are definitely leaning into the favor of Paper X, but again, a lot of them are going to be very situational, like having a lockdown prepared for a retake. Maybe they gamble a bit more towards B and mid and try to play that A site, but we know that every every person has got themselves shot dart lineups at this point. I, everyone and their nan has them, so... The whole Discord for them. There is. Yeah, that is true. Well, five to zero on the board. Things do start to get scary when you even consider the fact that uh, so far, obviously, Buzz is 13 and two. A pretty good game. Not leaving a lot of kills for everyone else. RB's not on the board at all. You know, obviously entering through, he's got a tough roll and he's being dashed with a shorty. <laughs> he's you know, it's, he's having a tough enough time there. But the thing is, even in that round, he dies to the shorty. The trades are there instantaneously. They take the space. So he's doing his roll. But the thing that I'm getting to is if RB on the I defensive don't think side, I, like, uh, he is going to even like they need to save big, this one. Big threat mm. in terms of fracking And power. if they lose this one, sure, they can maximum get a 6-6 six, six out of that. But there's a whole that second half coming. That's what is not so good at all. Not no good at all. For, that. for the they fence as well. They're going to have a huge problem on stack. They're good. And like, they could get this, but it's got so much harder. Like, at this moment. But, again, like, the orbs on this map are horrible. Like to try and get them.
when you're on that defender side is incredibly difficult. And you can see RB, he knows their plan. He, he has a teammate alongside him in case there's some sort of pot flash. He can just stay behind and just swing off the back of it. It's, it's a nice setup just to try and deny that extra control. And that's what DRX is so good at. Maybe the best at. Just Ooh. these very slow <laughs> defaults. I'll give a shout out to yeah. Loud as well. I think they did an incredible Five job the other day versus Liquid. Maybe not so much on Haven, but on the other maps we'll at forget least. about that. <laughs> it happens. It does. It does. I mean, it very nearly happened here. DRX's bounce back on Bind was unbelievable. Oh, the shock dart's huge! Look at that damage! The reveal as well! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> from the sheriff! Two kills found! <laughs> That's what they need! Huge damage done! Shields stripped away from most of these players. The Hunter series may be a, a little overcommit, but considering the bite, they've got to make sense. Great flash in with the stinger! Oh. And that is decimation Fight from Jing! Down. Only Mako left alive, and he'll get one, but he needs the ace clutch to come out ahead in this round. The eco for Paper X. Oh. And yet, they've made I it look phenomenal. Uh, you take a tactical pause, and this is what you come out with. Like, <laughs> amazing stuff. There's so little time left. They really want to try and kill nice. Marco just to get that remaining weaponry, juggle it between the other players. But that was just beautiful. The shock dart timing, then also having the dart afterwards just to make sure that you can finish off some of those remaining players who are trying to scatter away from the utility. Uh -huh. now, I, I think there was actually a nano swarm in the there middle was. as well just to try and almost push them that little bit further forward. And yeah, how many times are you going to see a double sheriff wall bang? Never. I mean, initially, they moved out of the way in the nano swarm. They walked forward, then they stepped back. To get a huge get advantage the here, they need like a uh, good advantage here. They need to get the 7 5 though, and that's almost impossible. Way to make it work with a low buy with practically nothing to work with. They didn't even have to see half their opponents. 5 1, the first round for Paper X. Now they've got to do it on a full buy, though, and that's where there's been some. No charges left. And <laughs> no smoke. Trying that's what you get when you don't place by, by, by smoke. <laughs> Bouncing all the way back. Some pre fire shots not too far away from. Benkai, and again, they're going to go back for middle control. But look at what the defenders have done in the meantime. They've already taken the A extremity. You can see also the push up into B. They, go, they may not have mid, but they have control elsewhere. The only worry at the moment is the potential for them to push through towards the spawn. And you can already spot that there's a rotation coming to try and counter that. Covering all their bases. Paper X know the gaps they're leaving open. With this smoke just fading away. Oh, actually, the rotates come back. That drone really selling it in towards short. It's spotted right, the killjoy up close. <gasps> Buzz with a quick shot on the Wait, operator, where? and he's out of there just as quickly. Now set up to move in towards B with his teammates. Jing able for one, but the trades are instantaneous, and Forsaken has an operator. He might be good to catch them all for one, but now it becomes difficult. They'll start to burn up utility getting towards them, but with a smoker already gone, it's so difficult to block vision of that operator. They decide instead it's going to be easier Look to move back free. to A. He's ready with the paranoia. Ooh. Shot not connected, but he slowed them down. There's still some utility available. And actually, they don't expect him to still be here. He's going to look to shut it out. And then the Vi okay. just waiting nice. on the cross. Another trap set by Paper X and another round in their corner. Yeah, that was huge by Mind Freak. A risk that paid off tenfold. Tucking in that corner after popping the paranoia, they assumed he's going to hold back and try yeah. to run the clock down. I mean, there was like 15 seconds left. So if he can drop the spike on the way across or make it a little more difficult for them, but instead he catches them completely off guard. And knowing the alarm bot was there as well definitely helped him out. Wait. Just continuing to hold so that, knowing that it's APAC to is Asian Pacific. A second round found for Paper I don't know. AC, what's that? Of rounds that DRX and have found, KR is Korea, right? Again. Yeah, and they're also very close to some incredible ultimates on the attacking side. So they do have to be a little bit careful not to allow them that orb control. And again, you can you can just see the challenge that's coming through. A very deep push for Forsaken, but I think he knows he's been spotted. So it doesn't want to overpeak, doesn't want to give the game away, but we'll just keep that little bit of control. For the most part, this will be a slow round from Paper X, so the main point of aggression being forsaken. But as time goes on, and with that drone going up short, there's a chance that they start to get aggressive. But here comes the Trailblazer in to clear it out, pushing him all the way back. He has avoided being spotted and instantly reposts on the angle. Aww. Shot not going to connect. Now under a lot of pressure, has a teammate here to help him. And the key thing being that it's Jink. He can pop a flash through that smoke and try to close in the distance. The shorty what? connects, but not for the kill. Jing able What's to trade, fully flash? he's taken down. And now DRX might have control of this site. Mind Freak is back in Boathouse, having TP'd in. But they'll know that. 
This is the standard play for an omen in this kind of round. They're ready to clear it out together, and Buzz doesn't even need any help. 30 seconds left. Hook down into play. They should be able to get that plant off, and actually, they're going to look to try and aggress onto it. Ben Kai, he's holding that corner. Spray down for Dubai, but that's what they really needed. They've destroyed the lockdown and forced him back into the site. Gonna have to try and swing on this. Marco is incredibly low, just hiding within that smoke, and he doesn't know that this close angle is currently being held. A chance for a headshot angle, and Stax isn't gonna miss that. One. <sighs> DRX, okay, six six again, and well, maximum we can get right now. Yeah, another really solid play, having Mako inside the smoke really maximizes his low HP. That old, how was that a bad old? And then obviously they're able to just double That was the only chance closing. for them to get back. This was ridiculous. I mean, he got jumped on with a shorty. Only half his HP stripped, and then the trade was mana. instant from the rest of DRX, getting past that utility. Like, if they would have pulled that, um, that old better, it would have gotten the there. Round found. It's not gonna pressure if the old would have gone up, it, it would have gotten all three of them. You know, they committed a lot to that round and didn't manage to walk away with it. That leaves them on square one. Whereas DRX, on the other hand, have a lot to work with. I mean, look at that ultimate economy. Only yeah. three orbs needed for them to have all five to work with, and they're all very impactful. Well, there they go for these aggressive plays again. Mid being battled for, so much damage being taken, but these crossfires pushed through for Forsaken. It's so risky, but he's just hitting the headshots. Left oh and right, God. and they're just trying to flee. Running one, away one from a man moment. in form at the moment. Looking to try and punish on towards this A site. And looking for the spot onto Mind Freak, but he's found another as well. These weaker purchase rounds just seem to fall apart sometimes. These aggressive rounds, and he's just switching corners every second that goes by. But again, the trades come back. What? Forsaken takes one through the wall. And it's left to Marco. Oh, I like this. He's going to go through his own smoke. He should be trying to take control oh. of in their mind. But they turn back at just the right moment to catch him. Walking right into the two players. There's a third round to Paper Rex. A good bounce back for them yet again. They lost the one round. They're eager to fight back. Now Blade Storm online as well coming into this. For DRX, finally, we're starting to see them have some money struggles. Yeah, I, I really love though the, the fact that they have those sort of sets. Oh, that was so, yeah, like just, those shots were so nice. Where things aren't ideal. They just go, okay, what's something out of the strat book that we can pull out for this exact moment? And so far they've been right with the majority of them. It, it's it actually in the more default rounds that they have a problem. Now, something you mentioned is the potential vulnerabilities in the economy, which is definitely there right now. You're going to have the majority of players able to buy. The difference, though, you got a Blade Storm. So that's already one player able to have a free purchase. You've also got yourself a Tour de Force, which is another player who has a free purchase. So the economy is seemingly dissipated. Oh, did I mention the other three ultimates are all also online? So although, again, weaponry-wise, by the looks of it, if you I'm didn't out. have those agents, it would be a problem. Yeah. The mm -hmm. DRX, I, I would bank on them winning this round because they have so smoke. much to play with. Yeah, I mean, Buzz can drop a weapon. Intervalo. RB doesn't have the money to, but at that Mola. point, they're already equalized yeah, up. Stacks and Zash can buy. Nice and comfy. And that's the beauty of this. It's something that Lothar talks about a lot so of what is it? in the NBA, which is that when you're playing uh, a jet Korean? and a chamber, you just get these free buy rounds. Like right uh, now, I don't this know. should be an eco for the majority uh, of teams. But just Japanese? on the back of the ultimates, they don't only get a buy, they get an insanely strong one. Blade Storms, especially from Korean teams, can single-handedly win you a round. And we've already seen the impact that Buzz can have with, uh, I guess, one shot from a Tour de Force and a Spectre. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they maybe have a backup weapon there, Buzz, because I, I think he'd be better. And the with the pretty that could maybe be Spanish. Yeah, need to see them. Some <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's a crunch round for sure, especially being on that defensive side for Paper X. Like it's three rubbing, rounds I think. To the six on the other side, it is not particularly looking great. So at English, sure, you have for I don't know what that is. To take over, and he's had a couple of rounds I just don't like know. that. It, it does seem though that at least for now, what is they're Intervalo? banking on those sort of plays. Like you've got three of the rounds, they've got one of them. It's for sake of running down mid. And managing to find the kills. The I mean, other language is that other. sort of like the setup that they had in towards B. I can't remember what the last one is, but it, it's still three. Like they, they haven't managed to win many standardized rounds. And as said, on the other side, well, you want to play, having this many. Well, now. Early aggression out of this blade. Storm oh. and it actually connects. Spike Five dropped. Down, He's going. And they're just rushing it right down, taking that control out of the hands of DRX. This is going to be a huge problem fighting back into the blade storm. Smoke down as well to fight through. But is this guy on the other side? Trailblazer starts it out. Make sure that they are close. They'll probably burn the flash here. 
in just a moment fight. to get on through. In fact, they don't need to. RB popped his own blade storm and took the space right back. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is they've had to use a fair amount of utility just to get that. So you've, you've had to use a gravity well, you've had to put some extra ash utility out just to try and make sure that you can actually get the spike back. So I've although, yeah, sure, it's it. managed to Nothing be recovered, did. there still needs to be a lot more spent in this round. And DRX may not necessarily have the utility available to do it. Still a cosmic divide online though from Mako. That could come in to block some of the vision cones, but just look at Paper X. Four <laughs> players stacked up here. They know exactly what's going on, but they don't know about RB's flank. Another fit kill coming through, and this time the blade storm for the attackers. RB gonna close in the distance, and the pressure on Devi is massive. A blade storm kill off to the Vandal. Buzz is coming in with the tour de force. This side is theirs. Forsaken sneaking through middle's even gonna be caught. And nothing is working out for Paper Rex in this round. Seven for DRX. That is a devastating blow to Paper Rex. They need Rex the well. Now they need it. Now they need the seven fights. Economically again, calling it back. No ultimates to play with. They this can't is looking lose like more a roll round for DRX and them getting eight on the attack and oh, potentially pushing the nine. Mm. Oh, that's not pretty. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those spots where DRX use four ultimates to basically give them that extra round. And it, 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 there's very little you can do about it. And, and especially when they get ca caught out, because I think the initial play was very good. Even the amount I of utility wasted in a free kill off the bat is just oh. not ready for that short flank to come through. Forsaken is just going, what? sprinting all the way up. Now, they've had this spot. They've been patiently waiting for this push for many, many rounds. He's the only player with a weapon. He's got the Guardian. Two players already fall him. And in fact, the second one was Forsaken. With him down, the weapon's lost. Mind Freak tries to push up through B main, take the space alongside his teammate Jing, but they don't get anything done. Spotted from afar by the rifles. The control is lost. And now DRX have got free reign. They have nothing really to fear as long as they can trade out in one-to-one -one fights. And up against Sheriffs, that should be pretty doable. They don't have the rate of fire to take you down if you're playing those duo fights. And really, for Paper X, the hope here is that it's going to be a B-main play, that they can catch them off with Mind Freak, with the Paranoia, with the Flashes. With Jing, or Jing doesn't have any Flashes left. But with Jing's tucked in the corner, the DRX are going the other way. And they've got some, some good old game sense, yeah. some good gambles. Well, maximum they can get safe. Yeah, they they need to get it. Very, no way they're going to win this. It's this three round. pistols Device against five rifles. Them. It's well, he will have heard the drone. They've also got no way. On the other Literally side, no so way. Rotations will be coming through in a moment, but I would be gobsmacked if this is not going to be yeah. checked. And RB, well, that's it. It's already over. I, and I, I love this as well. If, if you go back and watch through the previous rounds in in this map so far, DRX have been holding for that push almost every single time. Like Buzz has been just waiting in an off angle on mid. They haven't been taking that early tiles control to make sure that if he's going to dash in there, he's not going to get any kills. That is a direct counter to what they expect from Forsaken. And finally, it's paid off for them. He won't be doing that again. Well, it's exactly what we spoke about, the, the term disruption. You can't disrupt their play if they are sitting back in a default waiting for you to push forward. You're playing into their hands, and obviously there's no way to know that. It's a lesson that unfortunately comes with a pretty heavy cost. In this round, at least, it was an eco, so the hope was very low. You throw out a Hail Mary play like that, but it didn't work out. Jing, well, I mean, I was trying to hold them into the spike, but yeah, they're not, they're going to be able to walk around that, go into the corner if he can get a kill yeah. or two, but the reveal, oh, well, Marco's it's gone now. It's it, something. It doesn't matter, though, and, and that's the problem, because, yeah, last going into the last round, the four players surviving, there is plenty of cash to drop this man a weapon. That's three and nine help you. <laughs> 6,000 credits if they ever needed anything extra, so uh, a very, very good oh, half coming in for DRX. I think, yeah, they've been dealt a couple of blows by some incredible set plays from Paper X, but ultimately, their default rounds, their holds, their sort of I'm not going to do a lot the today. early rounds from Buzz as well, been phenomenal. He's 18 and early, I'm just going to chill. He's down a little bit. Yeah, okay, much. if he kept that kind of pace, though. Probably after the stream, just going to watch, like, so, uh, the series or something. He's not done anywhere near as much in the rest, but it's not really been needed. Oh, he. Yeah, didn't know you can roll that, that Buzz small piece there. 70 kills in the game. I think, <laughs> I think you're in a pretty good spot. And DRX, you know, the precautions that they take when they're up against these weaker buys, sure, we've seen that slip a little bit, but you can't be perfect all the time. We're not Tom. It was a compliment, see? Yeah, oh. you, you probably didn't think that was coming. No. I saw you <laughs> think for a second. Wait, was that an insult? No, yeah, it's right. a nice thing. Yeah. This final round here. 
Worth its weight in gold for Paper X. Oh, that's great. <laughs> this crossfire was just waiting for yeah. them to try and make some sort of move into mid. One of the only rounds that's really worked for them, and yep. it's a slaughter. I, I, again, I, I think DRX have an incredible read on what's currently going on, and because of that, Paper X are almost just playing into their hands. Every push wow. is tempered, is waiting for, and Divide, the only hope. He'll get a couple of kills, but ultimately they're just consolation frags. DRX, another nice. fantastic Switching first sides. half. We've seen it throughout this series, Mitch. Is it enough? I mean, at this point, going on to the defensive side, I feel like it just might be. <laughs> but luckily, we don't have to make that call. There's some big brains on standby. Let's toss it over to the analyst desk and see what they make of Paper X's chances. Aw, Mitch. Thanks for that compliment, That's calling us big yeah. brain. Thank you. Um, okay, but DRX just taking off full throttle there. I mean, they looked incredibly sharp on map three. We've been talking a lot about Mako, but Buzz, Buzz and Jess. <laughs> I like that, that That's You know what, that one wasn't so cringy, six? so I'm gonna have a jump on the train with that <laughs> okay. one. The man on your screen said in an interview recently, teams who are not and implementing it's more than a 3KD in their compositions on multiple maps in a are behind the match. times. Now, do I think Chamber, the agent for him specifically, was why <laughs> he was able to drop 20 kills, 6 deaths? No, I think he probably could have, you know, achieved that on multiple different agents. However, it was the ability for him to be a pseudo duelist sentinel for the team that they had initially replaced their mm. composition of taking away the KJ. How does that look for them? How do they implement it? How does Buzz fit into that? Well, I tell you what, it's pretty damn nice. It's like having that last piece of the puzzle. It just slides on in and things look nice and pretty. Yeah, alternatively, Jess, it feels like Paper X are playing a bit scared. Okay. Right? There's a clip in particular that I saw out of Mind Freak. He had established so much A main control, mm -hmm. right? There's a fight happening elsewhere <laughs> on the map as we pull it up very quickly. He gets so much A main control, right? He, he walks up with the jet, he's able to take the space, and then he kind of posts up. And this is a very different look from what we've seen from them previously, because while the, there's a hit that's about to happen on A, and as soon as the, as soon as the um, buzz dies, that should be his cue to go, but he continues he to sit right. There's no threat of an alarm bot. By the time he finally pulls the trigger and goes, the play's over. He shows up to the side, it's like a 1VX. There's no way he can make anything happen there. They're playing timid. It's so funny because the only person that supposedly is allowed to be a late to the party and everyone else is just early is the queen. Now, do I think that he is the queen? No. So uh, you got you can't rock up to the party late, my friend. That's not what happens. And given how quickly he flanked on Haven, I, I don't get it. All right. Well, let's see how the second half turns out, and we will hand it back okay, over. Okay. I'm pretty oh, sure um, DRX is going to win. Well, this. it's time to kick things off with half number two. Paper X certainly have a big task on their hands DRX here. Just DRX have just been on fire in every single way, individually popping off, working as a unit in ways that really are just beautiful to watch. Oh, Let's see what Paper X have planned here on their attack. In fact, DRX tried to take a fight I have a neck pain as well. I'm not like going to play today. And, and I said that before I even Buzz, started watching. But they're pushed back by the smoke. Now it's time to go to the B plan. Yesterday I played like five oh, matches, and that's not moves. nothing. So pushing through this, there's a chance for a double stun as they're going to make it in and they're just stuck. There's nothing yeah. they could do. He had a gravity well to slow them initially and then also the trap to slow them down even more. It means getting out of here has been so difficult. What? Okay, Stax is going to find a couple of kills. I'm going to need to see that one again because they have just shut this push down yeah. like there was no one there in the Three first turn. place. They're trying to deal with Mako down below. They're so focused on him and the player backside that yeah, I Stax don't. just swings I out just up don't. top takes a double instantly and what a beautiful setup i mean drx had played for middle they let's take a look at this oh that's oh, i'm live for two hours so i'm watching well. well for two hours and yeah right so now. what it's going to say is drx played for this at the start right they go through mid they take that fight and the reaction from Paper X was very quick. They realized these guys are fighting middle. They're not uh, going to have to be I have neck pain. I don't want to so so look up. Let's so I'm going to look it up. Oh, in. fuck off. But the utility that was there to slow like, down the uh, A push, you could see the DRX nasty. were ready for that kind of reaction out of Paper X. Yeah. The, the grab world trap is there again. And I, and I don't really blame them because getting rid of it is so difficult. If you're being moved away by the Yesterday, gravity world, if you manage played. to get past it, you don't have time to turn and shoot the trap. Because if you turn, you get pulled back. That's the beautiful thing about it, right? You have the trap there. As soon as it gets contact, grab well. You've got one guy probably stuck in the front. That's exactly what happened. 
They smoke up. They grab well. They kill the guy. 40 there is literally no reaction. The only way to get rid of that is by burning that was live for three hours yesterday, I think. Obviously, they were going for a fast play, reactive play, playing into DRX's hands. I'm going to piss off belt. Even I'm playing more belt than I watched. Make the right call here and taking an eco, but this sets it up for a very, very tough half. It'll be 11 to 3 down. Maybe before I was just down because I was in diamond three. I need a man for reset. That's why I didn't play. On the way through, a quick dash. Before four matches again. They slow it down, they group up. They, they managed to get five, some nine, space four, here. Five, a lot five, of damage five. being done. Buzz stuck in the back corner. If they can isolate him, they're gonna plump, but that's a lot easier said oh. than done. Oh, this man is I on need to fire do a lot today. of aim training. I can tomorrow, understand why there's a lot of people not wanting to see the, the kill do as like much. Even though it's fantastic, like you're 24 and 6. One or two hours yeah, at this point, you really match. cannot make an argument against it. And so many of the kills did come from it being chamber. From yeah. the fact that he had the head under to switch to, from the tour de force that he had to enter oh, yeah, and true. open with. This right here, though, the fact that that was a headshot, mine freak only needed a body shot. He was low HP, <laughs> but it didn't matter. That guy could have been 150 with a battle, and he would have went down. I, I do love how Stax reacts the same way I do every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. it's over. Oh, the fa our favorite words, technical gonna win up this. the top, and I think for Paper Rex, I'm going to take a moment to get a little bit cerebral with this one, have a little thought process, because, look... 11-3 down. This has got to be flawless. Ten consecutive rounds to win. And they can only afford to lose one. If they're going to push to the OT. A flawless from start to finish. And on the attack side, one up against yesterday. an explosive comp like DRX, it's not going to be an easy thing to do. And again, we get to this point of every game that you know follows this sort of train. You think they save up their ultis and just explode them all onto one round we already saw what can happen in that previous half when they did that with four yeah. and it was, nice it was yeah true yeah they're, they're incredibly something we agree good at winning rounds when they have their <laughs> ultimates available to them so it, it's something that always seems no, to be utilized cringe. well and i don't want to have that as well with the way that each of their sort of star players or at least in the form of buzz has been popping off he's not like his ult so regularly I'm having fun you know eventually that. he's likely to take a round over the line now on the other side of things, oh, again, like, no. th this needs to be about as clean as can be. Don't allow anything to come through on the other side. Don't allow them to even like get close yeah, to don't have it, yeah. that weapon Easy, right away and reducing your economy it's because it. it could come down to just one blip on the radar and that's it. You're in that lower bracket and I can tell you now, it doesn't get any easier from there. That's one of the lighter tech pauses that we have. Just someone adjusting their in-ears. It's to get the earlobe, earlobes warmed up, massage them out get right back on into the game you know it happens mm. sometimes it is actually kind of weird like right when you is have that, those is that, another, on, is that another job for sideshow i saw him have the hard hat on is he also the earlobe massager he, no actually we get bren for that bren okay yeah, they, is I, he the gentle one and sideshow exactly. a little bit more sideshow we tried He's him the out guy with a hammer yeah we had some complaints you know it was more of a chiropractor than a massage <laughs> so yeah at, at 11 to 3 you know sitting back taking a moment to breathe it's it's drx in fact that had this tech pause and i'll tell you what let's talk about the mental ramifications over on paper x they're trying to hype themselves up coming into this buy round and now they've got to take a pause remember technical pauses right you ain't got to be talking too much nah it doesn't keep it quiet. i did that before Contactical because i thought to, as well this buy round, when i'm like DRX going into money. it and like Doing it's something stuff that's kind of hanging over their head. Just but got last worse. time that we saw DRX play this, this, this exact round. I honestly just need to chill today. To I'm this trying to go live early, early tomorrow, no, though. Say, I'm going to try to, uh, because yeah, I'm going to go to bed early on, today. Sir, I can tell you that much early. And One or two a.m. You're also going to have RB likely um, trying to take some ground alongside him. That's that's the thing. This composition <laughs> from the one-two <laughs> team in the last game, um, maybe on Haven, there was arguments that that what was did I want to say? aggressive in the manner of which it played. But ah, yeah, I'm going to go early to bed tomorrow. And then you have that double initiative. going to be opening in tomorrow, so I'm going to go to grocery store. That allows you to set traps. Like Get some Stuff really and then go comment. live at like. There is a good reason why I we're hope seeing around a two or three PM. Players like Sugar Zero as well. well. Like bring that Astra back into play because it, it know, does still no have way. aspects oh, that other controllers just don't tomorrow. have available to them. That stopping power on a site, almost the addition of a, a Sentinel to, to go with your smoker. Yes, you have to be an incredibly intelligent player to use those stars as well as you can. But I feel like someone Are like both Marco teams can today do it made of uh, tomorrow made of today's games. Probably the best performance I've seen in the tournament so far. Like he was like lower bracket and upper bracket. Sure, stuff. that may not have been solely down to the agent, just him in general. But it's more so like he's 15 and four. He's like four times so far in 14 rounds. Like he is just a rock for this squad. Whether it's a, and, that, and that's the thing as well. That was on the attack. 
So Even if I don't go live at uh, around 2 or 3, I'm going to play at 2 or 3. You literally have to I'm going to play off stream even though map, I'm not going like live, maybe. Probably not, and probably I'm going live, but DRX, just like, you know, times. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that, you know, Buzz being the point of contact died 6 <laughs> and has 24 uh, same, man. frags is this. just something else. Yeah, I like it, man. You know, I said the mental ramifications of it, right? You want to get into the round, play the buy round, and get the ball rolling. The other team has a tech issue, slows it all down. But this guy's taking it in a stride. Mm. That guy just reclining back the chair, showing off the jersey. It's a nice yeah, jersey. I've heard that we're now, so that we're getting our second change of the day. Obviously, we're, we're switching out the in-ears now. We're getting back into it. The first change was obviously when he had to take off all of his gear earlier. Absolutely. Yeah, that was uh, quite an entrance. <laughs> quite an entrance, it has to be said. The game is ready to roll now. Players have Q-tipped their ears out. D don't do that. You're not supposed to. It's actually, it's actually bad for you. It feels nice. It does feel nice, though, so it's a bit of a trade-off. Push out from Paper Rex, and okay, two quick kills. Starting out well, but Buzz is able to trade back, and with just the Spectre in hand, he won't win that ranged fight. Paper Rex are ahead, two-man advantage to play with. Mako's a danger man here, but they've dealt with him right away. Yeah, they were expecting it. I don't mind the idea, as, uh, especially with DRX, uh, basically knowing that their opponents have just had to sit stew for a while to mm. come in with a, a basically an incredibly aggressive attempt on their defensive side, like making the same play that Forsaken attempted in the previous half. And yeah, it doesn't work out, but you're playing with some weaker weapons. <laughs> so it's done. not going to really be the end of the world. And <laughs> okay, Forsaken, I, I think he just had a jump scare. That yeah. <laughs> just, just got a little bit of a shock. Nice shot from Zest. Now, bear in mind, he's managed to pick up a rifle. Any damage he does is going to make things man. easier Please for them in the coming like round. But also, let it be. he can let, just opt to let try him and fix this. I don't know if he'll expect my freak to just be yeah. sitting on this corner, though. Bit of an obscure angle, considering the plant is on the other side of the map. Yeah, but he evidently expected mine freak to be somewhere around there, though, because he's being very cautious yeah. of the angle around B main. But yeah, a li little bit too nasty of a spot tucked up in. 11 to 4 we go. Paper X finding that round is, I mean, what we needed to see, obviously. But like you said, DRX didn't have a lot to work with there. Now the full buy comes into effect. Buzz one away from a tour de force. Stacks two away from the Seekers. On the other side, though, I see Forsaken's got his Blade Storm in the back pocket. But on a full buy round like this, I don't expect we'll see it. I think that's just going to be kept in reserve. Uh, you know, breaking, break glass in case of emergency kind of thing. Yeah, and unless it comes up as some sort of clutch scenario, of course, I'd be yeah. very surprised. But RB already getting the information that they're challenging for mid. This default almost involves just holding onto this control, completely reliant on the turret to spot anybody gets getting aggressive. And you do have the traps, which are going to give information, along with everything else that's being put into play. The drone managing to tag one. You also had the tiger making sure that nobody had made it up short. This is the thing with running this double initiator. You just know so much of what's going on on the map all at once. Yeah, a ton of information to play with. Paper X on their way up through mid, now being spotted out by the trap. And DRX are holding it. You can see that Zest is on the stairs, ready and waiting. Buzz inside the alleyway, but Paper oh no. X, well, they're leaving their options open. Oh no, yeah. Spike retrieved. The player's starting to back out and move towards short. That's where RB's going to have a challenge in just a moment, and he's gone down. Mm. Paper Rex open it up. They move towards the site itself. Paranoia catching nobody. And Mako gonna play around his own smoke. They know exactly where he is. He's staying alive for now, at least destroying the recon as well. And Stax is already causing a distraction. This is getting a little scary. They're forcing the spike plant, but Mako is still causing damage in the back lines. A third, or second, in fact. Of course, Stax got the other, but that leaves Paper X in a pretty tough spot. 30 HP at least. It should be an easy kill, but 10 seconds left. Time is a huge constraint, but they found him. It comes a lot closer than they would have liked, but in the end, Paper X still walk out with the victory. That's just sort of what I mean, though. It, it almost reminds me of when you watch, like, Nats on his Cypher. Like, he's just popping those smokes to give him extra space to maneuver around and, and just reclaiming basically different angles to try and take fights. Like, it was an oh, incredible nice job shot. by Marco to buy time, but on the other side of things, Paper X do very well just to clear all of those players attempting to rotate in. And, well, Benkai, after an incredibly slow start to this game, Finally coming up with a big round for Paper X. Yeah, I mean, Benkai did uh, such a good job because the two they come back from this, it's like walk, something else. Stacks, who was Paper X is doing back, something and like with really playing bad in the first, like, the, site. And you saw what the half of the game, and then they come back completely from an alive. unwinnable scenario. Control, but he hits so both weird. Those tiny little headshot angles, closes it out for the team as well. 
Now with the fifth round on the board, they force DRX onto an eco. And with that eco, DRX have given up a control. They'll fight back in afterwards. They have Seekers. They have the Tour de Force. Oh, yeah. Tour de Force already activated, so... Buzz will want to try and get something done in this round. Likely to just try and hold main as maybe the rest of the players push in, have that extra little bit of range. Dash completely blind and even in a smoke, but Forsaken oh will God. be able to find the kill. Trade's coming back and forth. Buzz has managed to find another one. Doesn't get anything more though. Jing does well to close him out. Trade's coming back and forth, leaving just one man standing. Zest trying to close the distance with Benkai yeah. holding strong. Nice. Six for Paper X, still a way to go. And of course, this is where the buy comes back. Only the shoulder shots in the end there. It could have been a lot closer if Benkai took a headshot, but it would have been the rifle retrieved as well. 11 to 6 on the board. Paper X, they started a decent comeback over on the previous map. Oh, Sometimes it, it almost feels like a matter of time, though. And coming into this round, this is where things could change for the worse. For the primary reason, it's something we brought up in the first half when RB was like 0 and 4. We're sat here saying, look, first of all, he's going <laughs> to get better. Oh, one to one he's a Hello. Now he's got the operator on here. Are we in Harry Potter? Off is scary. They're avoiding him to start with. Pace. And what? Forsaken's already on the site. Well, that's a retake for DRX in the first two seconds of the round. Yeah, he's just gone straight through. The thing is, the rest of the players haven't been able to make their way through with him. They will get themselves the after plant, but at the same time, the damage has already meant that there's an advantage here. RB trying to check some of the other angles. The Seeker is going to give away that there's a player in this corner. They know that he's waiting, but the shot's not connecting. Mindfreak going to reposition, take a spot below the logs, as now they try to make their move. It's time to gear up for the retake, and indeed it's going to start with the Trailblazer, but these players making it out of market are going to have a tough time. The headshot angle for Mindfreak doing some work, but the trades keep on coming back into DRX's hands. Only Bankai left on the site does well for the first and the final oh. challenge is his as well. Paper Rex are holding on. I can't Bankai move like this. Oh, my neck. <laughs> and the Red Bull clutch uh, to put DRX onto a job, pretty though. weak buy. And they're only four rounds behind now, Tom. Yeah, he was at the bottom of the board in the first half, having a really rough time. I'm, I'm thinking like four or five kills, maybe. He's now got more than that already in this half, and in clutch situations as well. And this is already going to be a massive confidence booster for him, but more so, they're shutting down what is a lot of the utility. The fact is, we even see like a cosmic divide go through there just to try and lock off that boathouse, but the fact is, there was no one there. They were all playing aggressively. They were all looking to duel, and again, it's just a straight-up, fast-paced push, but... Buzz seems to get out of there, then oh, takes an elevated fun. angle and just look at the grab well again. Like, that's what I mean. What's happening? Trap. It's just slowing them down as they try and walk through. This is barely even an investment. This is barely anything for DRX, but their setup has left a via low. They did everything right in the wow. previous rounds the legwork, the hard work done. Benkai, he really put everything into those last two, and for <laughs> this to be the round. For DRX to win a headhunter close, the TP back and a double kill on the side what angle was that? possessed. What just happened? That is devastating. Look at this. And he's just out. Like, how can he miss above. like They're that? And, at and then him, he and gets two so kills. Easy yeah. the trap grab no one's even looking at him. One of the most I don't even know why you should still push that. Just go back. Over in at this point, you lose two people. Go back. Try another thing. Chill the fuck out for a second. It away just for one round, just because they were going for these fast speed plays. The fact is, though, Paper X are not afraid. They're like, okay, you're not going to do that again. You're not going to slow us again. And straight in is Forsaken. Oh, Already, Mind Freak finds another. If at first you don't succeed, well, they've tried it again. It's time, a lot more successful. One kill through the smoke, yielding huge value with Zest nice. going down. They've eliminated RB at this point. Oh, well, I got scared for a split second as I went to make that point with two kills coming in for DRX. It's looking like Paper X have got it closed out. They don't know that Stax is moving his way all the way around here, but they are still watching and the alarm bot down as well. I mean, that's just fantastic. They don't even need to peek at device going to do it. Oh, good timing. <laughs> Catching him staring down at the alarm bot. Nice. Good answer back by Paper X, but they need to do this four more times. And as we've seen, you know, it's not even about economy at this point. DRX can get it done with the pistols. 
Yeah. I, I think really that the issue is those fast plays, right? When you come up against this composition, you're look they have so much stopping power and if you try to just It's just too late. Respect, like they it, they come back so late. You really to the game. need to get that opening. Because if Wait, they manage to stop your jet, your team's stuck behind util and that's, that's how it thing. happens when you it, try to go back through. It's also where DRX decides to put their utility. <laughs> I'm so done. True. As said, like in the round just gone, they had the traps over on A and a grab well combo. Uh huh. And one in mid the bottles, to stop them from the just from blocking in that direction. The round AKA before that, they actually had the first beat, tomorrow. so that then when you go and push through, you get hit by the trap in the grab well, and there's no way you can move through that. You're just stuck. And that works so wonderfully with the pistols. Right it allowed all the rotation, and Buzz gets the opener. It's an ideal scenario. This time, they didn't put that there, because who's going to do that again? And that's yeah. the thing. It's Paper X almost calling a bluff. <sighs> the problem is, you're rolling a dice four rounds in a row. Yeah. I think that at least once, Paper X is going to win one of those dice roll. And that, and that's the worry for me is, is that something that was in that round, okay, we'll do it again just because we they won't do it. But I just don't feel like you can continue to call that bluff. Eventually, you'll get caught. And we've seen what I feared would be the case looking at these comps. KO finds it so hard to get value by taking utility out because you've got Buzz, you've got Mako, who can be anywhere on the map. Yeah. So to cancel their utility, it's next to impossible to do so reliably and consistently. At least one of them is still going to have it online, and that will buy them enough time to reset over and have the other player activate theirs. I mean... 12 to 8, a very, very tough attacking side for Paper X ahead of them. It's only four rounds, but you're going to see just how difficult that is to make happen. Starting here, RB again going to be on the operator, and look where he is! He even gets Forsaken on the updraft, and Tom, that was the spike. At least they're able to retrieve it. We've seen this strategy before, the TP to try and cause the rotations. They've shown the spike, but they're losing players on the rotate with Jing going down. Now they try to break their way into sight, but there's the utility slowing them. And as they TP in, they are just going straight into Mako's hands. 13 to eight, DRX are moving on. That is an absolutely dominant two maps. Yeah, they, they played incredibly well. The defensive size setup is something that teams are gonna have to try and counter because those combinations on the entry to the site seem impossible to break down. We again look at a team showing us why Astra is still very much an agent that can be used within this meta and to an incredible effect. I don't think it's something everyone can do. I do think it's something that Marco can do. It is absolutely ridiculous. I'm looking at the scoreboard right now, Tom. Buzz okay. 28 and 12. Mako <laughs> 24 and 9. My man's got 12 assists as well. And with the way those grab wells were going yeah. down on the defensive side, it is no surprise. An incredible display from DRX, but Paper X, they came in as the underdogs and they put up a good fight. But the clean play from DRX, okay, combined with some of the individual skill that these that. players are putting out, I would say it's kind of Can weird. I put up a test RB, obviously attack side, so on. I'm not actually criticizing or saying it a bad map, but like. In a game where RB is not fragging like crazy, yeah. you still have so many other pieces and players that can step up instead. But that's the depth of this roster. We, we saw in the last map how phenomenal Stax was. It wasn't really needed so much in this one. Had his moments here and there, but you just have so much depth to this DRX roster. So I, I've enjoyed watching them incredibly so far in this tournament. I will say, though, I wouldn't like to be the team that faced off against Paper X in the lower bracket because it was the incredible default and structure from DRX that managed to get them through this game and deny some of these crazy plays coming out from the other side and also just the individual brilliance. The fact is, Paper X will come in here and show, okay, you can't underestimate us because even if you pick your best map, we might still win it. We gotta give huge props to DRX on the comp switch as well. I mean, what they came in with here today Day, it worked perfectly yeah. against what Paper X had planned. They thought they could pull out something surprising, but DRX adjusted and they walk away with another match in the upper bracket. They're safe for now. Yeah, I, it's the first time anyone's taken them close so far, though. Like Zeta and NIP both got absolutely banged out. So <laughs> I think we've seen the full power of DRX. We've seen some of the depth that what? they can show when they need to bring it. But yeah, I, I think that no matter who either of these teams face off against, they're going to have to take them very seriously. It is not like Southeast Asia are just out of this because they lose one game to <laughs> DRX. Absolutely. A team like DRX are favorites coming in here. They're looking, at, looking to be one of the cleanest teams that we have on display. Hell, I, I would pay top dollar for DRX Loud. <laughs> I want to see that game happen. 
And some of the cerebral play, we've seen them willing to swap up comps now, play the game completely differently. And if you're telling me that that's your, well, I'm going to say your B plan coming in, or at least one of your comps, one of your two, yeah, and you're able to play it that cleanly? I mean, it looks like they've been doing this for years. Looks like they've been playing Astra on this map before she even came out. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I've enjoyed them thoroughly, okay. and I, I think definitely going forward, there's probably still more to come. Like there, there are going to be maps that I think that they've banned out in the past that they're now showing to be incredibly good ones. Like think about Bind. They've just had to play against a, a composition that no one else is really running. They handled it incredibly well. So yeah, I, I think the DRX are definitely one of the teams to really watch in this tournament. And every time we seem to go through, we've sort of had them as like a favorite and it hasn't really happened for them. This time I feel like people are looking at them going, ah, I'm not really sure, but each performance, I think they prove how good they are. You know, it's funny, we had that poll before we started. And it's talking about Paper X for now or DRX? People swinging roughly towards DRX. <laughs> Looks like 70% of oh, y'all we, right. we got another poll. So let's hmm. see. So, okay, Marco, yep. A great map, Buzz, yeah. Jing. I, I would even say he won the map. And then we got Viking Bankai. Now, I, I feel like someone might be trying to slightly sway this vote <laughs> for uh, humorous purposes, but... Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm going to be going with Marco anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think, look, Buzz, he got a lot of work done. He had an incredible start to For the sure. map, but Mako, it's just a consistent not an play start where to you finish. Can add a link Doing it on the Astro as well. It's so pivotal picture. on the utility. He's on Haven too. And he's hitting all the shots, and that's the thing, right? The map that they lost, still stepping mm. it up. This has been an incredible display from DRX. Like it recognizes now, where the QR code is, for example. And puts a link the upper bracket. But speaking of onto that moving on, there's a lot more Valorant to happen here today, Tom. So... Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get things on over to the analyst desk right after this break. Mouse pad, dude. Like no one. Yeah. I'm really interested about God with soft optic, to be honest. I'm gonna do a short break. I'm gonna get some pressure. Um, see if I can do something against my neck. Um. Then we're gonna go into the second map. Zeigen, blitzt, liegt's an Listerin. Ah, second. Das unerreichbare. Match up. Essensreste in der Zahnspange. Yeah, I, I can't Ganz talk. easy today. Yeah, literally. Der yeah, Listerin know. macht da weiter, wo die Zahnbürste aufhört. Und jetzt neu. Not that my face is just the, 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 the color of whatever's on the screen. Hello. Hello. I'm falling asleep. Are you on PC? Uh-huh, that's why I needed to come back to PC. When oh. I have my blanket and chair and when I have it I'm falling asleep uh, yeah. on I'm not falling asleep on chair. What do you mean with yeah? I didn't even finish my sentence. Because you did yesterday. And uh, not yesterday. When was it? I forgot. Um Two days ago. Mm, nah, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. See ya, man. See ya. See ya.
Paper Rex has not played yet, chomping at the bit, ready to fight. And DRX is coming out of groups red hot, showing no signs of stopping. Who comes out victorious today? A gorgeous round from Paper X. We compliment the aggression on the defensive side, but they have just taken it to a whole nother level. That was a beautiful play by Mind Freak. Spike down. One enemy remains. Wow! Closes out the game! <laughs> Absolutely sensational! 13 to 10 for Paper X! What a way to close it as well! This kid is nuts! What up, guys? What up? One enemy remains. opponent's map choice just as paper x did before we take this one to three oh. Oh. okay buzz okay he's not even doing it with the tour de force oh, he what? gets it what? that's a fourth kill Absolutely dominant two maps. And that was absolutely a thrilling prime gaming post match highlights. There. Yeah, that one slapped. The emotion, the passions there, I don't even know where to begin. But, you know, yesterday our number one seeds came into playoffs hot, taking the wins. But today, could we be flipping the script? Well, that's the script DRX wanted and achieved, knocking PRX to the lower bracket. Jess, flip the script, man. I mean, I thought maybe all of the first seeds, that, that's meant to be the, the whole yeah. s you know story about the right. format now, is that these seeds, you know, these upper seeds come in and they are quote unquote the stronger teams. Mm -hmm. That doesn't take anything away from Paper X, and I don't want to detract from that because they play. They played an excellent game. They won each other's map pick. It came to the decider. They put up eight rounds. I mean, this wasn't a blowover by any means, but my goodness, some of the depth that DRX had to pull out to be able to pull out this win, uh, you have to, you know, just capitalize on that as a viewer and go, that's high level Valorant. Uh, a thousand percent. You know, it, it, it felt like that ace on bind yep. broke DRX. <laughs> like it just, it just absolutely oh shattered gosh. their mental, and there was no recovering from that because. It was some of what we highlighted on Ascent. While it, it did get a bit better towards the end, they, they were playing differently. They, it felt like they were playing a bit more reserved, a bit more scared. And then even when there was aggression, it, it felt like it was just trying to unlock Forsaken, which is great, right? Like, put your star in a position to deliver, to make plays for your team. But it was not the same cohesion across the board. This round, round 19, you're probably looking at me going, oh yeah, that was a nice thrifty for them. That's awesome. Well, I mean, I've been tracking a bit of their, you know, economics. I'm a bit of a money lady myself. So, you know, I like to count the cash here and there. Unfortunately for DRX, uh, they have to full buy to get over 80% of their round wins. They struggle to win half buys. I don't even think I have one recorded eco win throughout this tournament thus far. So just in this tournament, they're one of the worst conversion rates for half buys and ecos out of any team. And I always thought that was really crazy considering they're a team that was dominating their opponents. So I was like, okay, they got a thrifty. They've been struggling to do it. This is progress. So if you're a DRX fan out there and you're like, they're smashing their opponents, I'm like, yeah, that's all well and good, but they're doing micro, you know, sort of um, strength additions here and there that I'm really enjoying. And uh, thrifty round here and there might not seem like anything, but for DRX, it is a lot. Yeah, and really quickly, um, we have our amazing Kakuka, and she is on the Telestrator, and I believe she's going to be taking a closer look at some great plays on Haven. So take it away, girl. Thank you very much, Jackie. Uh, yeah, Paper Rex might have not get the win today, but they have gotten something that no other team has gotten this far and is a map out of uh, DRX in this competition. So I wanted to take a look at Haven because we were thinking about, you know, that rain and especially how is that going to work on the defense, knowing that DRX, they love the set struts, they're really strong, and especially against the uh, set of division on their previous performance. You know, this 
situations where they're so close to their ultimates, see, we need to look at the side A. And if we look also at, at Paper X, they do have a lot to counter this. They know that they have to be extra aggressive. They know that they have to perform that comeback. And I want us to take a look at the minimap here. If we see, we don't only see Mind Freak ready to go in for the push. Of course, we have Reyna and Jed doing the same to just counter as quick as possible the aggression that they know is going to come if they've done their homework. So be ready because if, if you blink, you're going to miss it. The round is going to begin and we want we have to take a look. We're going to be looking for James' perspective and I want to take a look at what the Vi does here. He pops his Hunter's Fury and the first strike is going to hit onto Window because he needs to set that ground free so Mind Freak can actually, you know, go on the push and actually support the rest of the players. Just going in. Get the first one. Still, they're going to be moved around by the Hunter Fury. Jing is trying to get the next one. But just look at what Mind Freak is already. He's on the back looking for his POV. He doesn't care that he's struck by the alarm bot. Gets two kills. And after that, he has the cold mind to even think, like, I'm 10 HP. I can wait for my teammates. I need to play this slow. Still, the round is not over. And RB is not going to have many chances to get anything done here, even though he retrieves the spike. He has no information on where everybody else. He could be extremely surrounded. So for him, there is just no right answer. He just has to wait, maybe try and pick. But yeah, Venka is going to be finishing off this round. And it's just, you know, beautiful to see that even with Arena, even with something that we don't see that often, Paper X was able to take this map off of DRX. So a lot of teams have much to learn from them. Back to the desk now. Kukuka, thank you so much for that excellent Telestrator segment. And you started to perk up a little bit there, Doug. Yeah, because that play that you just highlighted is the is the exact opposite of what we saw in Ascent. And I think that's Ooh. what I had such a hard time with. Yeah. Like, Mind Freak took proactive space away and acted on it in a way that kept uh, DRX in a really uncomfortable position. And that was just not what we saw, again, really after the after the bind ace, it seems like. Way to be the downer, Doug. Yeah. Let's uplift things here a little Doug bit. Down just off. teasing. <laughs> but yeah, let's check out our Verizon high speed moment. This will make you smile. It has to go to Buzz's 4K <laughs> on oh. map three. We were all screaming when this went down, Doug. The, the so funny down. thing is, is that he uses his two to fours, and then he goes, you know what? I'm not hitting the shot. Just grab the SMG off the ground and just run with it because I can hit with whatever I need at whatever distance. He misses out on the ace. <laughs> <Okay>. I know <laughs> he was flashed during that headhunter. Well, and, and then that's the Hello. thing, right? Like, you have, you're you flashed up to high heaven. Okay, let's spam with the spectrum, sure. right? Whatever. Nah, I'm going to toggle over to the headhunter and land a headshot. <laughs> right. Perfectly well, he had, normal. So he had a lot of bullets to run with in his headhunter there. Might have been like eight he had, I think, in total. So he probably could have spammed away. It hurt my heart a little bit that he missed out on the ace, though. So yeah. I think that would have oh. been the cherry on top. But you know what? Buzz dropped so many kills that if we ask more of him, I feel like it's very selfish it's very greedy at that point yeah i mean honestly it was almost like the buzz and mako show at points but mm -hmm. um i believe that we have our results for the player of the match <laughs> so let's see if we can pull those up here okay there who you is go. your wow. match in mvp i yeah, yeah i uh, mean that's a dominant win it was too. the mako buzz show i'm, like I'm I lucky said. for viking though Oh, Unlucky. Viking Benkai. It is it is crazy to me that we're talking about a roster that has RB on it, and he. <laughs> uh, how many times have we talked about him in this tournament? Maybe twice, right? Like yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mako Actually. and Buzz are, are so out hmm. of their minds I don't know in this when they're tournament. Start the, next the fact that match, we, because I don't want to watch that much really has nothing left, right? Like there's just scraps so because really the rest of the like team is taking everything else rush. away. It's just DRX is in insane form right now. Okay, and we also have our Verizon post-match interview ready to go, I believe, with Josh and Zest. I'm really excited to hear what Zest has to say. So, Josh, take it away. Thank you very much, Jackie. I am here with the IGL of the hour, and what a match that was. I'm here with Zest, of course, from DRX, and Jen, our translator. I wanted to start things off by saying that this is your first Masters event, and you've taken such a long break. You had an injury. You've only just rejoined DRX. What are some of the challenges that you've had to overcome in order to get back to the top, both as a player and a leader? 이제 제스 선수의 첫 국제 무대이기도 하고 부상 때문에 좀 오랫동안 팀에서 떠나 있다가 다시 IGL을 맡으면서 오랜만에 발로란트 씬에 복귀하게 됐잖아요. 좀 이렇게 IGL을 맡으면서 팀의 경기력을 여기까지 끌어올리는데 좀 어려운 점이 있었는지 물어보고 싶습니다. 연습하는 과정에서 이제 실패도 많이 하고 시행착오도 겪고 항상 어려운 점은 있지만 저희가 이 길을 선택한 만큼 감당해내야 할 어려움이라고 생각하고요. 그리고 이렇게 경기를 이길 때마다 그게 다 씻겨 내려가는 것처럼 기뻐서 지금 당장은 힘든 게 없습니다. 
I mean, in terms of practice, of course, we had failures, and in terms of results, okay. yeah, we had some uh, yeah, my neck here and there. Too bad. But I'm, it's I'm like just it's games then. like this when I feel like it's all worth it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was an incredible match. Uh, you've had such a spectacular start to this tournament, this. but you okay. did drop your uh, first map, and it was against the rain. I'm gonna raid. <laughs> Actually, Valorant. <laughs> you wanna keep watching? Um. I wish you a good night. Sorry for being so down today. Did a lot. Wasn't feeling really good. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be better again. Okay. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.